Welcome to this week's episode of the Have A Weird Podcast, ladies and gentlemen. My name's Adam Rowe, and that's Dan, aren't you? Yeah, I am. Dan Nightingale. <laughs> this is our podcast. It is. We're both going on tour separately, uh, starting in... You start in August, I start in September. Going all over the gaff. Tickets for my tour at adamrowe.co.uk, and tickets for Dan's tour at... DanNightingale.com. Uh, ahead of that, you've got some previews coming up, danspreviews.com. Yeah, very few tickets left but tickets are selling out for both these tours. Get them now to avoid disappointment. And of course, if you're a long-time listener of Have A Weird, you will know that we have got one of the biggest and best Patreons on the planet and the biggest in the United Kingdom. 23,000 and counting, starting from just three quid a month, you get an absolute belter of a deal from us. Not only do you get early access to these public episodes, but you get an extra episode every single week, which is where we save our naughtiest humor for. And on top of that, every single month, you get a special. You get a brand new special every single month. Back catalogue included. Legendary. The Nashville special was huge. We went to Amsterdam. We've done two ghost hunts. We've taken over a restaurant. And there's loads more on top of that. I think we're up to something like 20 plus Patreon specials. And then the famous lock-ins when we get hammered in here with our mates. Some of the best podcasting we've ever done. Patreon.com slash have a weird pod. Sign up for just three quid a month. You do get more benefits the more you sign up for, but everyone gets all of the content that we put on there. And on top of that, you get early access to tickets for our shows, for the podcast live shows. And sometimes we do small events and they sell out immediately on Patreon. So if you want to be in the room for those, you've got to be a Patreon. Patreon.com slash have a weird pod. Sign up now and enjoy this episode. We've already recorded it. It's going to be it's a belter. 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 Wag wag leads. You're listening to the funniest podcast in the game from the heart of Liverpool with Adam, Dan, Sensei Kyle, and Finn. This is the one and only Have a Word. Brought to you by Manscaped, the very best product on the market for below the waist grooming. Go, Ed. Get on me. <laughs> and welcome to Have a Word. Hey. You're not Adam. I'm not Adam. You're Jamie Hutchinson. <laughs> Adam's looking good for himself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not Adam. I'm Jamie Hutchinson, but I'm back. And the third seat I've sat on. I've just got Carl's and Finn's to go. Nobody said that. That would be a really weird sub in <laughs> if we were like, listen, Jamie, Finn's away. Yeah. Can we have the big hitter of Northwest podcasting? I can't spell, so I'll mess up your subtitles. <laughs> Ooh, anyone going to do the joke? No. Well, that would be bad. I'm um... <laughs> the shit anyway. <laughs> yeah. You're all technically harboring a fugitive right now. Why? What? You you could be in trouble. You could be in trouble. You could I be didn't in trouble. See um, which I'm, I'm which on the authorities? Run. I'm on the run. Interpol. My mum. Ah, right. Okay. Yeah. I'm grounded technically. Why? But I've just. How done old are you, Jamie? I'm Thirty-two and a half. <laughs> right. So t- when's <laughs> what jurisdiction <laughs> does she have over you with grounding? Oh, this is still night. going. Oh, I went London yesterday. At London, yeah. And you d- didn't have permission. No, but I, c- I came back at like half ten. Um, train was delayed um, so I got, I got back at half ten my mum's in bed because she's got a double cleaning shift in the morning fair play do you know what I mean I've lost my key. when are you going to retire her come on that's got to be <laughs> get her down to one cleaning I've shift I've only You're just got good. some new bed sheets from Dunelm <laughs> good gaff, 63 it? quid I spelled oh, mate it's funny now it's like sleeping in an aero I don't I'm, wor- <laughs> oh, never thought of that. I'm worried that it's going to change Jamie the magic's happening know, when you I'm it's sad. like lit some jizz stained uh, fucking last time I changed my sheets Liz Trust was PM <laughs> now I'm in my Sunak era <laughs> <laughs> so I went to London yesterday yeah. I got back my mum's mo- <laughs> in bed I've lost my key I've lost my key in it too right oh little sushi one yeah yeah well I got a I got a uh, Thai green curry rice bowl. Nice. Changing a lot. Um, yeah, but because I've got like dyspraxia or something thick, um, I had, uh, you know, my pouch of me bag. Yeah. I use that as like a wallet sort of thing. So you have my car, charger. Sensible. Et cetera. And I realized, I went to pay, went, oh shit, my card. So I got it out. The world has fell out my bag. Right. So I'm running after my Hugo Boss aftershave picked up my toothbrush and then I've just forgotten I've left my key on the floor in it too. Wow. Single key? Single key. Just the house key? No, but it had a, it had a spiral 
Spyro, key ring. Oh, nice. The dragon. The dragon, sick. yeah. Nice. That's sick. Yeah. Uh, well, mine, it's my mum's spare one because I previously lost my yellow key. Oh, you're so you're on a fucking final warning. Oh, I'm on bear keys, mate. <laughs> on bear leashes, lad. Um, so I couldn't find my key. I'm, I'm like, try to ring my mum. And she's not answered three times. So I thought, oh, no. Because what time is it? Half ten. Right. But I can't knock on the door. Waking a sleeping mum is just nope. absolutely... Yeah. You, oh, you're it's, done. You're it's a dragon, isn't it? You don't wait the dragon. I've only got 14%. I've got no key. But I'm an urban survivor, as we've well documented. I can survive on the streets. What, of Gorton, where you grew up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I went with dad's because he had a spare. <laughs> <laughs> So, put me in any situation, <laughs> any habitat, I will survive. I'll forage, I'll ring me dad. <laughs> yeah. You know, one of them two, probably both. So I went to my dad's and he's like, oh, I'll have you with me, lad. So now I'm regretting ringing my mum three times because she's going to figure it out. She's a clever woman. He's ringing three times and then he comes in 45 minutes late. He's urban survived to his dad's yeah. to get back. So now I know I'm grounded. Is, oh, you don't even, you haven't had I've the paperwork. I've not seen her, no. Oh, shit. Is there no one else with a spare key that you can go and get a copy done? No, my brother's in Portugal. Why don't you get loads of spare keys made and just hide them somewhere? Like a go bag for a gangster. So I, yes. you know, a couple of weeks ago, I got locked in my house because I couldn't find my key inside the house. And it's one of those PVC doors. Oh, yeah, that, yeah. Uh, probably a fire hazard, really. What, not being able to get out of a house? Yeah, yeah it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do, I'm not an expert. But do you know that what sounds I mean? bad, doesn't it? Do you know, like you need to unlock it? What do you want to hear? If you just leave the key in, it's technically locked as a person from the outside can't get in. Yeah. So we, we, you have to lock it and take the key out. So I had to get my dad to come down. <laughs> you nearly broke, Jamie. Oh, yeah. I, 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 had to get my da- I had to get my dad to come down to free me. Yeah. Um, and he went, where's, where's, Where's the spare key? I went, oh, I have no idea. So I couldn't find the spare key anywhere. And then he spoke to my mum. My mum went, the spare key's on the key rack. My dad went, why didn't you check the key rack? Well, we've got a key rack. <laughs> I had no idea where the key rack Where goes. is the key rack? I still don't know where it is. Right, well, that's... I'm, listen, I, you lost I respect your mum. <laughs> I've, lost, I've, I've lost the key rack. But that should iron. be next to the door, shouldn't it? No. Yeah, I think, no. Whoa, what? Whoa. You keep your key rack next to the oh, door. It's not electronic. Stupid. Yeah. Sorry, Carl. You you keep your key rack three streets over. No, but what, Where, if, what if a guy comes in with a fishing rod? Yeah, exactly. He can have what he wants because he's a do. genius. <laughs> My letterbox is at the bottom of the door. The key rack is a meter and a half up the wall. Maybe not, but like, how, if you can get a fishing rod in and get, you can have whatever you want. You're fucking. You don't have to get a fishing rod in. Just knock the door down. They've got all the cars and the key to the house. Just knock the door down. Knock the door down. Yeah. What? Think that- if you kicked your door in and just look there, you should access to everything. What I do is pick the lock and nick your key rack as a lesson. <laughs> well, actually, unscrew the key rack. That is such a baller move, Put the isn't keys it? Back though. To me, instead of just taking all the keys, just take the whole key rack with everything hanging off it. Key rack mind. on the black market. That man. happened to somebody I know. The fa- th- this is not a joke. They ran into his house because they knew where that was. It was by the back door and just ragged it off the wall. And was like, right, we've got two cars and we've got. Keys to the house. Obviously, the where was ev- where was everyone? Out. Everyone was out with all and all the key, all the keys for everything are still there, like back doors and cars. Yeah, some, some people go out not in the car, which is wild. So just hang on, the guy's broken in, yeah, and the keys are all hung up. Everyone's just gone for a walk. No, maybe maybe oh, his name was Martin. He might have, he would have been in school, right? His mum could like. I think once they're in the house, though, they've got, aren't they in the house? You're like, oh, now they've got the keys to get back in the house. <laughs> no, but, Do you know what I mean? Like, the, I mean, the cars. Yeah. Right. It means you, you shit yourself about your car keys so much. I love it. I'm just, I'm just smart with me stuff. You I have to, I have to, I mean, I'll give you this concession. At the end of, like, at the end of the night, at better bold bad's time, I do sometimes take my keys upstairs. And I'm like, listen, if you, I'm not, yeah, I get what you mean. Even then, why have you got them with you? You're not going to die for your car. What? Keep them safe what? in the house, but not with you. <laughs> so where in the house? Away from the front door. Let them have a bit of a challenge to find them first. <laughs> oh, <laughs> right. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Put it in the kettle. Just put it in my fucking... Keep them. Father-in-law's ashes. There you keep go. Your yeah. keys. Thanks, keep your keys on a spice rack and your spice on a key rack. Well done. Totally. You've got, well done. You've got some rosemary. I fucking rest. robbed the house in the fucking Spanish Quarter of Hayton. <laughs> what have you got? Cinnamon. Some cinnamon. Yeah, they're getting seasoned food, but you've got a car. I used to... Um, 
I won't need... No, I won't tell that story. I can't do that. I'll t- tell it and then cut it. When I used to work <laughs> in a place and I was manager, I used to keep the keys in a cupboard and I, I labelled the um, the drawer sp- um, spare spiders because no one's ever going to open that drawer, are they? Because the spider's in there. And then the owner came in and went, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> How how is that how is that story not going on the pod? I was when you do that thing of like, oh man, this has to be cut out. The spare spider story is the bit we're gonna edit out. Keep that the fuck in. That's like going, I ah, labeled the key drawer, super secret, no one is allowed in here. And then even the burglars are like, oh hang on, I've broken in. But there's a line. I, no, I thought it was smart. We've got a cold. Spare You're spiders. not going in going, oh, I'll open that drawer because spiders will jump off. Now, Jamie, I'm throwing yeah. this out there. Yeah. If you're on the run. Yeah. I'm on the run. You know, Fugitive, man. Now, if she's grounded you, you've mm. just assumed it. You know the woman, you know her form. That's it. I, right? know, I know she's a harsh judge, mate. She, yeah. She's firm. Look at the man she's raised. Mm. She knew you needed the whip, the stick. She, Less she used, carrot. You know, she used to hit me for being nervous. The whip and the carrot? She used to say... <laughs> that famous <laughs> saying, <laughs> do they want the whip or the carrot? <laughs> Neither. Carrots are shit. There you go. That's another punishment. Um, what I mean. But what, what if he, she's gr- grounded you... Already, just stay out, man. Just go, you know, what is it, two weeks? Just go on the fuck, just well, keep I've, away from the house I'm, two weeks. I'm in or, Bert- does the, or does the grounding start from when you next see her? Oh, it, start, it starts from the bollocking. I've got a face with sentencing. I suppose you're not in, are you? The, yeah, yeah. I'm fen- I've got a facer. Do Sorry, I mean? interrupted you, what were you saying? No, I've got a facer, do you know what I mean? But I'm in Birmingham at the weekend, so if we can get to Thursday, she would have calmed down the foom. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, you know, you're going on a national tour, mm. you know, and that's important because yeah. people can't wait to see you. You're an amazing comedian. JamieHComedy.com, yeah. Absolutely, all the luck <laughs> in the world with that. Yeah. Couldn't happen to a better, you know, fugitive. Yeah. What What happens if she grounds you and you've got tour dates? Where's that? I, I like today I've escaped to do this. <laughs> <laughs> broke free how does she Darwin enforce? thank you I'm here against all odds how does she enforce the grounding puts my keys on the key rack <laughs> I don't know where it is I can't leave just threatens him with the carrot well I've got my dad's spare key but she doesn't know that oh so she locks you in the house I mean locks us uh, yeah <laughs> <laughs> delivery can come through windows though yeah I'm, I'm uh, yeah, I'm, f- I'm fearful of going back, man. I don't think I ever got grounded when I was a kid. I used to get told I was grounded, but then I was just I just went out again the next. What day. was great when I used to get grounded to go up to your room, but then I could sneakily play me snakes and ladders league. <laughs> so I was like, "Fucking get!" I'm, I'm like, "Oh no, I'm not grounded, am I?" Oh. What's Jamie? Lads, snakes I'll, and lad- I'll ask you. Mate, What's the snakes and ladders? <laughs> snakes and ladders league is one of the greatest games of all time, right? You know, snakes and ladders. Is this pre-internet? This no. is yeah, two thousand. Are you doing this on your own? Yeah, it's more. It's important to do it on your own because people don't respect the rules. Are you in a league with anyone else? <laughs> no, I'm. I'm the administrator of the league. Is there any other players? I'm Richard Scudamore. Is there any? <laughs> <laughs> is there any players the, apart the, from you? Yeah. All right. Cool. Right. No. Let me explain. It's giant snakes and ladders, got to be giant. You're the map version. Yeah. And it's important, this, because you know the counters you get that connect. Yeah. Like, right? that, like, like plastic things. Yeah, the plastic discs. Yeah. They, they're they connectable, i.e. Lego, sort of. Yeah. A Duplo. Um, you have a league, so six counters, red, blue, green, yellow, black and white. They play each other three times, yeah? So say it's black against yellow, the B derby, I call it. <laughs> and then, <laughs> then whoever wins, say black's on a hundred and yellow's on seventy-seven. That's black, the score. Black wins by a goal difference of plus twenty-three. Ooh. And at the end, you do a match of the day, and you 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 rearrange the points, and it's a good result for Green today. They move out of the relegation zone and go above red. Do you red, know what I mean? Red and blue's the A derby, isn't it? No, red and blue's the derby. Green and yellow's the derby, and Dan, black and white's our classic. It's called the B derby because. Black and yellow is the colour of bees. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you fought bees! It's like a red. <laughs> Big gulp of sneak. <laughs> Wake up and sneak. Mm. Mm. Get jokes with sneak. <laughs> <laughs> no, black and white's old classic. I say that's like Super Sunday. <laughs> get grounded on Saturday night. <laughs> yeah, get it. <laughs> Who's, um, who was the who was the United of the nineties? 
who was the team who was always winning. Who was always winning. Green had a good run. Really? Yeah. Do you know Green? I always associate with the Four of Hearts. <laughs> with the what? Four of Hearts? Four of Hearts. Because you know the Chambers Cup? What's the Chambers Cup? All right, so this is another game I'd been to <laughs> <laughs> Say, unless we watched it on the telly when we were kids. <laughs> this should have been on tra you know, Trans World Sport. Yeah. Should have on that, mate. Go Joe on those like. Mad sport. Mad, like Kabaddi or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I really. Foreign was the word that everyone was like thinking. Well, you know, one of the mad <laughs> sports from. <laughs> so all you need for the Chambers Cup is a pen, a Chambers dictionary, A5 size, preferably, paperback. Um, on a deck of cards, on a dice. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. So this is like the FA Cup. Do you know what I mean? Go on. So you draw out the cards, so and then you have to do, you know, like the TV announcer goes, seven of diamonds, uh, we'll play jack of clubs. Nice. Eight of hearts, we'll play the eight of spades. Oh, an eight derby there. <laughs> and then That's eight, Dan, that's because they're the same number. <laughs> what did they eat? Not because they're hungry. <laughs> And then you, whatever's the high profile game, you you move to the bottom because that's the TV game. Do you know what I mean? Right. That's, yeah. the, that's the headliner. Yeah. The whatever. Game, yeah. Yeah. Then you roll the dice. Whoever goes through, goes through. So you knock them all out. You get to last 32, last 16. So to get to last 32, you need some groups of four and three because it's 52 playing cards. So you need to make it divisible. Once you get to the final, the final is a two dice roll. So you're not out of the game. And four of hearts used to win that. And the reason why you need the dictionary is the first page of the dictionary where it's just a white page. <laughs> you <laughs> you write a roll of honor. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> and then you just you then you put the card every once you're knocked out, you go face down. So you're the last face up card, and then you put it against the chambers cup and you pose a picture of your granddad. <laughs> <laughs> Like you must have been, genuinely, you must have been the most inventive. Yeah. Like, are to, you an only child? And so, of course you're not an only child, but you no, were no. of that age, like when you didn't have a brother. Yeah, I've, I've had so many sports and that. Made up so many sports. Yeah, there's um, there's the Wolfpack game. There's Ty Baldo. <laughs> <laughs> Do you still play these, be honest? <laughs> no, no, I, I would love to though. I'd love to get back into it. But when I was, when I was, but you like, know, you've got a career and a girlfriend and stuff. <laughs> things in the way. Seventeen podcasts in a week. No, Ty Baldo's really had to take no, a fucking no, back seat. Ten, eleven. I was like, oh my god, this is just what I just love. Sports. I mean, I love football. I manage it so much. Essentially, just spreadsheets in it. But that's what I like. What's oh, Tanny yeah. Baldo? Ty Baldo. Oh, Ty Baldo. Is what you need is um, bed sheets with Ty writing on. John Ty design. You lay that down. Quite niche. <laughs> yeah, you lay that down, then you get your cousin round, and you just... <laughs> what? <laughs> you oh, oh. You play keep you up here with the ball. And oh, it, God. And, yeah. it, and if it lands outside the court, you've been tied ball load. He's a sick game. It's a fucking ring game, mate. Worst <laughs> one. One of the worst moments when I let people into my world. I was playing Wolfpack, yeah. Wolfpack's sick. You'll love this. I know you'll love this. <laughs> so Wolfpack, again, is league form. So you need loads of sheets of paper, pen, the dice, right? <laughs> and you make fantasy... The amount of stationery that young Jamie went through. <laughs> oh. What do you want for Christmas, Jamie? Uh, A4 paper, loads of pencils, that's more what, dice. That's what I mean. We make some toys for us. I was in Ryman's, mate. <laughs> <laughs> so um, you make... There's eight teams in the league. <laughs> and you out, you make your fantasy five aside team, three current players and two legends. Nice. So you just make that, right? Oh, this is so good. And then I made, I had names from Wolfpack is what it's called, the game, quite unfairly, because I had a, an affinity to Wolfpack because they were unlucky losers. They always got to the final and they never quite won and stuff. There was Keegan's Newcastle, essentially. No. Right. Um, so one of the teams was called Wolfpack. Yeah. And you named the whole and game. And then the games in my memory has just become Wolfpack. Wolfpack. It was called like Fantasy Five Side at first, but it's like, it's, to me, it's the Wolfpack game. But it's probably unfair. To, don't you like them just because I love them? You know, you, <laughs> uh, what were the other team have. names that didn't get? Right. right. So, so there's like Gorton Rovers and that because where I'm from. Now, <laughs> there was Gorton Rovers <laughs> yeah. versus the Wolfpack. The worst. <laughs> so the big rival rest. Is that because of the pub in Emmerdale? No, that's Wolf, Wolf, 
That is the wolf pack. That's it? the wolf pack. The wolf pack. Same <laughs> thing. Against <laughs> Queen Vic. <Yeah. laughs> the Rovers return will play. Uh, um, wolf pack's big rivals, right? This is this is so gringy, right? Their rival. You know when I'm running out of names. I'm on the eighth name. They were called TDQ. And these are Mourinho's Inter, Joe, rolling around. The Simeone's Atletico. Dark Arts. Dark Arts team. Yep. TDQ. The Dynamic Quintet. <laughs> <laughs> so you do play for them? So you... Well better TDQ though, isn't it? Yeah, Sounds yeah, like yeah. a Welsh league team I, that's yeah. sponsored yeah. by... Yeah, that's I know Wolfpack had Desai and Owen. Ooh. Ooh. And I know that because of this next statement. <laughs> <laughs> of mission um so you again you roll the dice you know three points to win it's a it's a sick thing right so say if you won six four i don't like that because it's too unrealistic so i have it as like two nil maybe three one and what i do is i then roll the dice to see who scored the goals do you know what i mean right so say if it was a five i'd go oh back to i got a brace Ooh. do you know what i mean so, because I had a top goal scorer chart as well. So I had a system in place to see who scored. I tried to divide it even like the striker got most of the goals and attacking midfield and stuff, but the dice ultimately rule the game. <laughs> in the final, you have Wolfpack, you know, Wolfpack TDQ is, you know, your dream final, your classical final. And then it's, it's two. It's a grudge match. It's two rolls and once, I swear to God, people say this won't happen. Wolfpack got beat 12 11. <laughs> It was fucking unreal. I know people say this didn't happen, lad. That happened. It why was twelve. Why didn't you make it one nil? Well, the final was twelve eleven over two legs. Oh, yeah, it's two leg final. Um, TDQ so, playing the football they usually play as well. Yeah, Unbelievable. Yeah. So then that I character. then I inv invited my cousin round. I went. Oh, I've got this. He went. You come, you, oh, it's the worst. Yeah, you come playing out. I went. Nah, nah. I've got. I'm, I'm not doing anything. What? You want my solemn sheets of paper? I went. Ah, oh, this is this, this game. I went, oh, that's sick. And he plays it with me. And he loves it. Oh, and sick. I'm like, oh, get in. And he went, yeah, yeah, sound. I'll come down, so we'll play it again. Now, in the night, I converted my bedroom into a club shop. <laughs> <laughs> so I started. Well, I would have loved to be in your friend, you know. <laughs> so I moved my chest of drawers to make it look like the till. <laughs> and then I just stuck up with sellotape, printer paper, drove from the computer printer. Drawing a flag. Another trip like, to Ryman's. <laughs> <laughs> like a flag going wolf pack. Was it I, just a wolf pack club it shop? It was a wolf pack club shop. It wasn't yeah. like the league shop. No, 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 no it was no. a club shop. And I, and I had like Desai 5 and stuff like that all over. And my mate came round and went, Oh, should we play a wolf pack game again? I went, Yeah, yeah, check this out though. And then I took him to my bedroom, showed him my club shop. <laughs> and he went, Lad, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I was fucking boy, no, I fucking love Do you know what's so sad? Was taking them down. Do I had sales prices and everything? Like RIP twenty nine ninety nine must go today. Tano. <laughs> you had a clearance sale. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was the, one of the saddest. You don't moments. like it, but check out the bargain bin. There's loads oh, of deals. Taking in there. them all down, mate. Was a, I thought oh, you were going to say oh, you just got around and went, this is shit. <laughs> I hated doing that sort of stuff. And you know, when you're like, oh, this is what I do. And then you introduce a mate to it and they just look at you like you're a what fucking you idiot. One, one year for Christmas, one of my main presents was a typewriter. <laughs> <laughs> I used to play Final Score with myself. So like less, do you know when it comes up on yeah. football focus? Uh, final score. Like Wolfpack a proper three. Like a proper video printer yeah, style. Yeah. yeah, yeah, like that. I was just like Leicester three one Hesky seventy two, and that's what I just used to play on Saturdays. Oh, you weren't doing the final score. You were doing the live scores. No, no, I was just making it up on my own. But yeah, but I, it wasn't like the end where they go. Oh Crinton no no! Too. Just it as was... it comes through, like there's been a goal. At oh Phil... shit! There's okay. been a goal at Filbert Street. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Muzzy is it? Twenty one. Red card. That sort of stuff. <laughs> Very likely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you just had <laughs> sheets and sheets of made up. Yeah, final scores. scores. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're not the autistic one. <laughs> 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 I think he is. <laughs> yeah. Even Doctor Catfoot was like, "Mate, sort your head out." <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> uh, I bought myself a trophy from a. Tr uh, I asked my mum to take us, take us to a trophy shop. Yeah. I saved up birthday money because I used to ride my bike around on the 
front. I had two games. I had a, uh, a like a four team league where I just played football. I, what I do is I design. On your own. Yeah, I design the kits, but I was obsessed with like either being Adidas, Asics, Nike, oh, or so who Re, Reebok, the big boys. And you could only play for that team if the club you played for oh, was sponsored like by but like by that. that. So like Nike, Nike at the time would have had like the Arsenal. It would have been about I would have been at like 13, 14. They would have had like Arsenal players and then some like like the Inter Milan players. Oh, I had a bit of a fun. soft spot for ASIC. So I used to do that. And then I'd design the kits for the season. Oh yeah. I've done and that and they'd never change colours. So ASICs were yellow and black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I think I would call them the wasps or something. The bees. Uh, <laughs> what? No, they were they were the A's. Oh. Um, <laughs> Uh, and I also did a, a game with around the front on my bike on the pavements. So, you know, like the curb would go down. I'd have it a track. So you're like, yeah, you have to go round that one oh, and yeah. through that one. That would be hours of my life. And I was like, mum, I'd, I'd get at the end and I'd do a presentation, but I'd be using f fake stuff. So, so I went bad. to a trophy shop. I was like, mum, I want to go to a trophy shop. And I spent uh, 15 pounds on a, on a trophy. I was trying to spend more and my mum just went, this is ridiculous <laughs> and you're not spending any money on it. So you, you can't you can't spend any more money. So I got a trophy about that because I never won trophies when I was a kid. So I had to buy my own. And at the end of like, I think it had, I can't remember what it had on it. Like a, I can't remember if it was a cyclist or something, but I used to present it as the league trophy yeah. when I played the football and be like, and I'd do the same thing of like, like pretending to do a photo yeah, shoot. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I'm just glad someone's winning. Oh, it's I so had, sad. I wish I had a trophy. I use shower gel bottles and a girl oh, I, took yeah, a, told us this. I took a girl home and she seen my shower gel bottles. Yeah. And you'd written on them? I'd written on them like Peru. I think Adam was the host then, yeah. When he told us. I'd written oh, like Lord. Peru in that joke as they played Darts World Cup. Yeah, but I can't decide if my mum had been a dick about that, <laughs> not letting me just buy because I was I was like pricing up. Did you get it engraved? I don't I'm not sure she let me. <laughs> She's like, mate. Oh, I'm gonna play some perma mate, virgin in. I used to draw a footy pitch out on a piece of paper and then get a pen and like pass the ball around. Oh yeah. yeah. And then Scott Robbie L was always the top, top goal scorer. Oh, <laughs> Earl, <laughs> Earl and Gale, Earl, the crazy gang. So I've got a. But is memory. that you? Is that you making him be the top scorer? No, so I was sitting on my granddad's table in his house and I'd drawn it and I was like, oh, Wimbledon are playing today. Was it Wimbledon? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I went mean, because you need to call me granddad. Oh, we still do call him Alan. He's still here. I went, Alan, who plays for Wimbledon? Who's the strikers? You went, uh, Robbie Earl and Gail, what's his first name? Marcus Gale. Mar I was like, right, so it's like, they were the strikers. They were the only two people, and Robbie Earl got about 15 goals that day. But that's just stuck in my head. So that's the Robbie Earl game to me. I love it. To, to anyone looking, it would have just been me running around the garden playing games. But in my head, I was playing the big Nike oh, Adidas yeah. Classico. Like, it, it was so important. And I like I, it's so mad. You're like maybe 12, 10, 11 years old. In my head, it was the most important thing. Like I'd given it a reason to be important. I just think it's important to document these things as well. Yeah. That, I had the face card derby as well, which is my other PS2 resistance. Is um, and because card playing cards are amazing because they have a clear ranking system. Do you know what I mean? So I had aces with like you know your group one horses, your thoroughbreds, and the twos are like the fucking divs do you know what I mean so I'd have things like the sevens and eights cup so or you can only go in if you're a seven or an eight do you know what I mean yeah. or the spades open do you know what I mean Whoa. things like that <laughs> <laughs> and then it cut, so I have a season in a day get my granddad to bet on it and that but the betting odds move <laughs> granddad was in on it what you do is you shuffle the cards across and the first one such skirting board wins <laughs> And but what you do is you do the draw for the face card derby, sixteen cards, uh, you know jacks to aces. You shuffle them, and there's a grand ceremony for the draw. And then their odds decline if they're on the left hand side because I'm right handed. They go, oh, they've got a bad draw. So ace of spades, although it's the best horse, it's got a really tough draw from stall one. So its odds goes from like two to one favorite, like four to one maybe, and one or near like jack of diamonds, who's not the you know, the most talented, but if it gets out, it's one. Do you know what I mean? So that could go in from eight to one to like four to one. Do you know what I mean? Genuinely, 
I know you're a busy person now, but I honestly think if it all just goes to shit, you know, like divorced and your career's gone fucked, I think you'll be all right, Jamie. Yeah, I'd just be so happy. All I need is just invent, <laughs> just invent uh, games for yeah, uh, all single I need, kids. All I need is, uh, you might die in a house fire, but in, that, <laughs> in the hours before when you can't find the key. Just save the cards. Jamie Hutchinson died in a house fire surrounded by cards, <laughs> dice, and Print Ryman's paper. printer paper. <laughs> Fucking hell, this is how I wanted to go anyway. It's a happy life though, isn't it? I it loved it, man. I just, I just loved my own world. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, you didn't just really have an option, did you? I was because you get to a point, your your mum and dad would go, "No more TV." Plus, it was shit anyway. Is that because? And then you had to just go out and do stuff. Is that because you had a sister though, didn't you? And you were my brother's child. 15. No, I'm not. Yeah, my brother's well, fifteen years yeah, old. Yeah. Me, so you grew up kind of. When I was that age, he was like in his twenties. Going. I'm well, I had, I had a cousin who's me and my cousin were conceived on the same day, so we we were like basically twins. It was only. Only born four days apart. How did you know you conceived on the same day? We was due on the same day. I mean, mum had that. You know, I've talked about it before, but my mum had the mattress in the oh, room yeah, where my sister, yeah. where her daughters, my mum and her sister, used to take turns with the fellas. When's your birthday? <laughs> Feb twenty two. Oh, two days before me. Yes. Fucking Pisces, massive mate. And Dan, you're a Pisces, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. You big Pisces. Finn, what are you? <laughs> Uh, Libra. Oh. oh my God, we've employed a Libra. <laughs> Why? With us as Pisces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, people who are yeah. into this will know that's a mad combo. Yeah. Like usually Pisces murder Libras, don't they? Yeah. They just shoot them in the face. Yeah. But we've just, we're pretty progressive here. No, we don't, uh, we don't, we don't like, don't worry about it. When's yeah. Libra? September? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, <sighs> you should invent games for only children. No, it's called the internet. They've solved it. They've, no, but like, it. take it back to the old school. Don't want to play Fortnite no more. They do don't want to play the fucking. They're, nah, this was so better, mate. Analog beats digital, man. Mate, there's a there's a little game thing that's available. I bet it's like fifty quid, and it says it's got fifteen thousand classic games on it. Just why would you? So you got Ty Baldo. <laughs> Good question. <Exactly. laughs> it's got about ninety seven different versions of Street Fighter. Me and Sarah can play cards all the time. Look, oh mate, so the game. No, just card with a game called 13. Steve loves it as well. It's just the we, me and Steve played 13 um, on the train back from London for four hours. Back, me, and Callum back back me, and Cal me and Callum invented a game to London called what? War, and we got all the Danny Max playing it. So the pub Danny Max when it was when it used to be mint. We had like <laughs> <laughs> yeah before the Asians took over. <laughs> Whoa! I'm gonna. No, no, I'm, right. I'm, I'm sending that to VAR. What sounded bad? Okay, it's full, of, it's full of Thai women now. Is that bad? That's a. Oh, oh, is, that, a is that legit? <laughs> <laughs> Get your bed sheets out. <laughs> Get your bed sheets on the ball. On the or just take play ones and they can draw it for you. It's so Thai, me, Thai me, Baldo HQ. Me, what, what's happened to Danny Max? The pub. It's full of Thai women. Is that actually why people. Everyone's. What, have they turned it into a nail salon? It, Jack. <laughs> that was too far, wasn't it? <laughs> what? There you go. What, who bought it? Spice Thai. Sp Spice Thai. It's what was a person? <laughs> Spicy ties bought it. We don't fuck with him. It's full of Thai women, no, so no one goes except for, you know, Thai women. <laughs> Jamie, you love shit pubs. Why like you famously no, it, you love going in the Danny groggiest Max, looking. No, so, Danny Max was perfect. Great pub. Danny Max was perfect and it's just now it's too many ties. <laughs> no, it's not about the tie. <laughs> I've not got time. <laughs> Tied up. <laughs> no, it's uh, it's not it's not bad, but it was perfect. It me? was less Asian. It now was... that was bad. What? That was Whoa! Bad. It, honestly, <laughs> this is how it sounded before when it got mentioned. Everyone was like, "Oh yeah, it's before Danny Max was Asian. shit," and you went, <laughs> "Yeah, I'm sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah." Was, you were like, "Yeah, since it got bought by Asians." I didn't that, even say that. Well, I, I didn't even know it's full of Asians. <laughs> 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 I didn't even notice the Thai reference. <laughs> You definitely did. I, I didn't know it's the Thai influence. It's just not as good as what it was. It just felt like a family there. The staff were mint and it's just a shame. It's, yeah, new it's boozers, not... sometimes you get that amazing window, don't you? Mm. Where everyone's come and got the job at the same time. The atmosphere is really good. Yeah. Just used to go for The laughing, the pint. Chester was fucking brilliant for that first year or two. And then it just all, a few happens. people leave. When few... the best people leave it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, just so what because I walked there's, that there was way. Thai people there. <laughs> Everyone was like, "Oh, the comedy's good." But it's I love full of Thai Asians. women, by the way. Yeah. I, I'm a big fan of Thai women, now but just not yeah. drinking with them. Not in our pubs, though. But not in our boozers, mate. <laughs> Thai women for Thai pubs. This you know. is a get, get this in is the salon. salon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the dog and duck in Gorton's full of ties now. <laughs> not going. 
Poison. <laughs> Go on, Jamie. Yeah, what's well, see you uh, get in, get on inventing your own games, man. All right, do it. Get a new 2023 uh, trend going. All right, let us know your games. I mean, let Jamie us. won't be here and Adam won't give a shit, so... <laughs> Let there me know got, your game. Uh, Jamie's Games, the new section. Why <laughs> <laughs> shit? You should start your own fantasy league. <laughs> oh, you're pissing him off so much, right? Yeah, it would. Get on the soundboard. Welcome to my games. <laughs> right. Can, <laughs> can we just do, can we just do, a, do a little bit of musical audio. We'll get someone to do a little bit and then we'll try and, uh, honestly, try and get it going as a section where people go, James, get, just do like a James yeah. Games, James Games, no tie women invited. <laughs> James Games, James Games. All you need is a pen and a dice in your brain. Jame is games. Jame is games. No tie women. <laughs> By the way, and I don't know if you're going into recording or anything, but if you're in the studio, don't do this. You? <laughs> just start fucking it. I'm fucking doing it. You should start a fan. Do you know the, the fantasy league exists? You should start the analog one. I'm sick of fantasy footy, mate. You know what you do it with fans and get them to send in pictures each week of like how oh, TDQ we're getting on. Oh, TDQ, man. Get the wolf pack again. Dirty bastards, but well, you got to respect them. Well, not that dirty. They won 12-1. 12-11. That's 12-11. Yeah, that... 12 what? 12-11. Oh, I thought it was 12-1. No, it's 12-11. 12-11. Yeah. Sorry, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. That's two six five. 5 Jesus then. Christ. No, it's not. It's a sick... How's that worked out? No, you what? couldn't. It's a draw and a win, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Unless it was like... Oh, first leg was a draw. 6-6, six, 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 Oh. Mad. Epic. And Wolfpack rolled first. They got talking. five and they went, bang, I'm what... <laughs> <laughs> TDQ or less yeah. If they win 12-1, there's six definitely pens. dark hearts going on, isn't there? Well, they the two dice them. rolls. <laughs> two <laughs> dice rolls. Yeah. <laughs> the loaded. Yeah, that one's zero. Because I can't see it. Thai woman stole it. What's what they're like? Let's have a break, shall we? Shall we? Mm. Yes. Break. Hello everyone. Now it's time to talk about my absolute favourite sponsor. It's lovefunny.co.uk. Yes, I'm comedian Adam Rowe, and I like things to get funky. <laughs> In the bedroom? In the bedroom, all over. With or Love at Funny. the kennels? At the kennels, get me mask on. Dominic, what's it called, Steve? Dominic <laughs> Dominic's puffy hoods. Uh, absolutely the Dominic it Cummings. It's <laughs> surprising. It's... It's very comfortable, you know. Well, this uh, this Renegade Rubber Latex Gimp Mask is absolutely great fun in the bedroom, let me tell you. But it's not great for reading advert copy on a major podcast. Uh, there's loads of stuff. There's the rubber red lips, 1.5 inch in diameter, which is more than I need. There's cards. There's all sorts. There's water-based lube. Just spice up your bedroom with fun. Look at Adam. He so, loves a bit of kink. I'm at home. I want to be a girl, right? I want to dress up as a girl and I want to be saved by a jock in his comforting arms and take me to the prom. Now I can do that with love, honey. You know, Adam's never said that before, but he said it here today. Thanks for admitting all that, Adam. There should be no, you know, no judgment here. This is a kink-shaming-free zone. Spice up things in your love life at lovehoney.co.uk. Go on and use promo code WORD20 for 20% off site-wide. Oh, <laughs> you think sex toys are your ally? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm not cutting it out. <laughs> it wasn't on. It wasn't on. I know, I'll make sure to see yeah. it. Oh, I've ordered a back scratcher from Amazon. Back scratcher? No one's, back, no one's scratching my back. Everyone's retired from it in the house. You scratch mine. Well, well that, That's it. I'd scratch anyone's. Cool. Oh, oh, great. Scratch stars. But no, it's got to be tit for tat, hasn't it? We've seen them scratch stars. My girlfriend has one. No. But um, like for sensitive skin, so you can proper fucking dig in and it doesn't hurt you. Oh, what? Oh, like scratch that. star. A scratch star? Yeah, they're amazing. Does it have a handle? Or does it, is it's it like just it's a... It's starfish shaped, so like star you, the Pokemon. Yeah. It's like that. Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, yeah. 55 quid. Yeah, that's great. Jeez. They're life changing though, apparently. No, it's good on, uh, on all day when your bed's a good scratch after the pain's gone and you're peeling. Oh, my God. Oh, I thought, we went, I thought you said after your bird's gone then. Oh, my <laughs> after God. Oh, my after God. the pain's <laughs> gone. <laughs> after the pain's fucking left. Yeah. Um, yeah, I do think class. Adam's right, though. 
whatever your partner wants. What is that? Yeah, they're amazing. The cooling scratch You put stuff. it in the fridge? You can leave it in the fridge. Yeah. You don't yeah. have to. But... It's like them cooling pillows. Yeah, it's good. Is that for like eczema and stuff? Yeah. Yeah, like any, anyone with sensitive yeah. skin really. So you're not hurting yourself, but you're still getting Eczema the... and psoriasis. Psoriasis, yeah. Man. Oh. Get yourself one while you're doing that. I don't know. It's not my, that's not that that's the problem. Just got a fucking back that needs a scratch. Ask, ask your wonderful wife. She won't do it. She's Why not it? She's just anti it. Can you blackmail the children? Uh, I don't. I just don't think it's a good look, is it? Mm, Come here, good. darling. Come here. Scratch <laughs> Jack's back. Jack, <laughs> by the way, what a, what, a, what cute baby. Very cute baby. Well, yeah, he's all right. You've made a good one there. And that's, I already know she was incredible, but Jack is a... Uh... So uh, Sarika and Carl came for the royal visit. Oh, nice. On, uh, on Sunday afternoon. First it was great. Me. Yeah. It was so good. I've never, I don't know where Laura's decided you are in the pecking order of things, mate, but I've never seen effort made yeah, like no, the charcuterie, charcuterie board. Charcuterie board, mate. She's but. obviously got you and Serica right up there as like- Do she you made host it, often? She, no, because Laura's got a bit of social anxiety, so oh, well, okay. it's, a, it's a limited invite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, you're always welcome. Yeah, I've I stayed, mean, you basically I've stayed, stayed in the garden office, haven't you? Stayed house. Did you crack one out in my garden office? No, oh, no. cheers, man. Appreciate sure. it. That's cool. No. Um, I don't. I don't like doing stuff like that in other people's houses. I just think it's rude. It is. Yeah, it is. It's sexy though. I don't know. What Jamie having a wank in my garden office Not for is sexy. You, but for him, it's a bit like a naughty, isn't it? Yeah, I, I just I like to I like to feel good about myself though. Cracking <laughs> one out in someone's guest room is not a good feel. I don't think mm. it's good, man. Yeah, but you should never know. So no, it's no, it's not. It's a. It's oh, about you. how you feel, isn't it? Oh. You yeah, feel like I'd a feel, bit of a dirt I'd feel bag. rude saying that someone else isn't doing that. Hotel wanks are good though. Oh, 100%. Yeah, that's that's what you pay for, isn't it? Of fish, that. Yeah. Fucking hell, I mean, if the cleaner comes in, she sees something. She Wipe on the curtain, and then put the same room again, see if they cleaned it. Alex Polizzi, hotel inspector. <laughs> <laughs> One of Jamie's shows. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie came in today and he was like, listen, Matt, lad, I know you're doing prep, but I just need to watch the, sev the last seven minutes of this. Chef and I hire. thought it was like a game from the weekend. Oh, it is a game. Chef for hire. It's more than a game. Chef for hire. Alex Bleach, Chef for hire from like 2015. <laughs> what is it? What? From 2015. Oh, you, sorry. You <laughs> came in. <laughs> that wasn't anybody was asking. It was on YouTube. It wasn't on iPlayer. Or you something. came in going, lad, I need to see the result here. And it was eight years ago. Because I was watching it on the train and it right. ran out of time. <sighs> I've been watching Old Big Brother. I feel like you'd be into that. I watch Old Love Island. How, like original Love Island? Or no, like, like series three, Jamie and Camilla. Oh. God. That's the only one I ever watched. Love Shun. I watched the Tommy Fury one, unfortunately. Yeah, that was a good, that's what got me into it. Yeah, yeah. You know, the reason why I watched Love Island is because I saw a lot of comics talking about it, and I thought it's in the zeitgeist now. Yeah. And as a comic, I just want to be aware of these things so I know the references and I can, you know, say, oh, I, you like Love Island. So like, sit Hang on. <laughs> you Hang on. Mate, <laughs> that is not your comedy <laughs> at all. <laughs> Jamie Hudson, who's drinking? You look like you're in Love Island. <laughs> uh, if you don't know who the dick is in your group, it's I'm, probably you. I think it's important to be aware of the zeitgeist, though. Yeah. Of what's popular. What's Allow not. the zeitgeist when it comes to Love Island, though, innit? Yeah, but I, it's still, it's, it's, part, it's it, a reference part. And then I yeah. thought I was going to watch it from a professional point of view. <laughs> Maybe come up with some bits for it, and then I just fell in love with it. And then <laughs> there's no jokes. Then I it's went to the so... went to the fringe. I was in that. Um, I was in Fun HQ. I was in a. I was in a, I was in a the loft bar. house share with like three comics who. Hang so, on, you called your house Fun HQ. They did. They put me in a group chat called Fun HQ, and went, "Oh, they're not gonna like me," you know. Because oh, no. they're, they're, they're not all, even playing Ty Boldo. They were all. <laughs> they were all dead nice, so like nice people. And I'm just a piss can. I was on different <laughs> level, mate. But I, don't you want that? If you're a piss can, do you want to be with three or the fucking? I've told you about the beds. thing, Anna. About the room. What yeah. I did with the doctor's thing. What? Oh my god, this is awful, right? Uh, have you? So oh, like, I don't know if I've said. It. So apologies if I've said it on here. Um, but I've, I, I was staying in the same room as a female act. Yeah, and it's coming back to me now. Go on. I was on a mattress on the floor. She was on a bunk bed on top. Yeah. yeah. So it what felt was on like the bottom bunk. What? No, the bottom bunk was like desks and stuff. Oh, like oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. But the, this the is way, a room not for adults. The way the room was, we both had our own space. We made it work. Do you know what I mean? And she was uh, gigging midday. I was on the late show every night, so I I got up late. So we just never crossed paths really. 
So I used to wait for her to go up, get up, get out. They were firing so I could have me farts. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? What like, a just, gent. Just being myself Absolutely, and all that. Yeah. Anyway, it gets to the last week of the fringe. I'm out till six, seven in the morning every night of the fringe. I'm absolutely done in. Right. And um absolute wake up, I had a uh, Palmyra pizza the night before, banging. Absolutely hammered. And um I wake up, she gets out, so I start farting to myself and it's fucking hilarious. So I start <laughs> pissing myself laughing. And I had two like bedside tables. So I put my legs on him and pretend I was having a gynecology exam. <laughs> Farted and went, oh, sorry, doctor. <laughs> and then her sister got out of bed half an hour later and introduced herself to me. <laughs> it was fucking awful. Oh, no. Oh, I've just, oh I've just died. Like, it was one of the worst <laughs> times of my life. Did she, was she sound with it? She was like, this is what happens at Fun HQ. So. Hello, doctor. I'm sorry, doctor. Yeah. And she got a button crying. You know when I'm hungover? Was she Thai? Because that would be, oh God, <laughs> this you, room. You know the type of hangover where everything's just hilarious, what I'm doing here? <laughs> just laughing, just in my own I'm sorry, doctor. Oh, I fucking love those hangovers. Love, I, love, I need one of them. Love Can hangover. we book in a drink? Yeah. Because I think I, I need a, a slate clearer. I need, going next year, I need I need one of those that. hangovers no. where you know if I'm going to get rid of this vape pen I need to be hungover to give myself I, I need to stop vaping now it's ridiculous correct and I need a hangover that I feel so ill at that it just totally resets the board and I don't want to vape I reckon I can use that as a springing board to then just not use it again love but I hangovers. also love the mental that it's almost like a mental it's like a all your stress goes you have fun on the night out but then you're ill the next day and you have to literally reset your brain and your life i want i sort of want one of them yeah, and good. i think you could give it me oh, i'm good i'm good i'm good for how many of them do you have a, like a month i've not had a day off drinking for a very long time <laughs> i drink that infrequently that i nearly accidentally drunk uh drink drive the other day drunk drunk drive drink 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 drove drink drove drunk so, drunk drive for, for the drink <laughs> Uh, me and Steve and the boys went for a drink the other day. I had like about well, five, six drinks. And then I, I was hungry, but all the food gaps were shut. So I was like, I'll just get in the car and just drive to Mackey's or something. And I got in the car and I was like, ah, I'm not allowed to do this. That's illegal. Let's just get back out again. And I was like, oh, I'm Because you're so rarely pissed. Or, or well, like, I wasn't like drunk, five, I've, five I've drinks like, in. Yeah, and I was like, oh, I've shit. Dr I've drank 11 days in a row. Right. I never reckon I've drank 11 days in the last three years. Yeah. Not, do not massively smashed, but. Yeah, Just I remember when you came, when you came there. to do the chocolate dinosaur special, and you were like, "Lad, I am really hungover, so I'm just gonna do the best I can." <laughs> Eleven and o'clock, <laughs> we're outside the fucking Roxy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did all right there, Jamie. Yeah. What's how how many drinks before it sort of kicks back in? Because is it like? At like day 11, yeah. it's getting further into the night or is there like a cumulative no, amount of booze if it, if you it, just have if unlock? Have, if you have three and stop, I'm sound. Do you know what I mean? It's if I have that fourth and, and I'm with my mates, I'm like, ah, oh, this is game over now. Fuck it. Just take the loss, move on. Do you know what I mean? But it's a win. No, oh, it's a win, but it's a loss. Right. A draw. <laughs> <laughs> and the problem is... <laughs> You've turned pro now, so this is yeah. like, there's no one going, where were you? Because yeah. you're in charge of your That's life. what I mean. I'm on it, I've, podcast starts at like five or something. So it's just, yeah, sound. I went to casino on Sunday night. Um, didn't get into like one, one, two. And I had to go, go London at like half nine or something. So that's the closest. I, I was like, oh, a bit ropey on the train. What's your game in the casino? Poker. Really? Like. Wh which casino? <laughs> Berry New Road. Berry New Road. Yeah. yeah I like the poker tournaments. You just pay like 50 quid or whatever and you're there all afternoon. Do you know what I mean? So I don't I don't go mad anymore. I used to be fucking, I can't leave until I, my bank is on zero. And I've done my overdraft. Do you know what I mean? Can't, I can't leave the casino solvent. <laughs> this should, I know this is not something now. casinos are ever going to do, but I reckon it's got to be your own money. Once you're in the credit card, I know yeah, they're not yeah. going to be like, listen, we've got a fucking... Aren't they meant to, like, a pretend to care, though? What? Yeah, they stick up a sign saying, gamble responsibly. No, yeah, they come their... over, like, and go, sir, I think you're done. You go, no, and they go, like... No, because they don't know, because people hide it well. I never, like, 
I was not, I'm never like this one. I've lost. Oh no. I'm just like, yes, I, I, I actually, <laughs> fact, there's a comfort in losing your last tenner. Yeah. Cause you're done. Cause you've, you've, you finish at the bottom of the pool now. Done. What's the, what's the most you've lost in a, in a sesh? Well, I lost three grand on an arse, which I covered. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's all the same. Um, me and my mate, my mate was a footballer and, and he got a payoff from the PFA and that. So we just used to book the Britannia Hotel, get a twin room, stay there all week, go on the piss. <laughs> I'd so nip in good. work, get a couple of salons, say, I've, yeah, I've got me, I've got um, sales calls at different salons, just go on the piss in town, then go casino. And we'll just do, do like thousand pound spins and stuff. And it's just all fucking the turnover is just crazy it's fucking sick. so you're up and then you're down you don't even it? you don't even know if you're up or down you just know there's chips and then there's not chips and it's just fucking 100 mile an hour it's class couldn't do it no it's just yeah. have we just wired in. differently but yeah you, you could do what making making games with odds yeah you could do what making you know bookies in the <laughs> yeah, bedroom jamie could have been three grand down <laughs> playing fucking ty baldo <laughs> right i've got to stop now i've TDQ, lost the fucking bed shit five could i'm not yeah. <laughs> <Desai> again <laughs> <laughs> Um, can we book in a, a blowout? Yeah, that's when all. like uh, you know, I love them. I, I'll tell you when I'm ready. I know, we... but you, there's so many things have to align. Not really. I can't plan them as well. Oh, I'm saying relatively sober on so. Fuck off! No, you're not. I am. No, you're not, <laughs> Jamie. <laughs> you're doing what I did last year. Someone's finally <laughs> listened and gone. I've gone. Selling merch is a great idea. People want it. They want a, they want something to take away because they love it and they love you. There's something about the podcast audience where, and you you you've got merch. You're going to then be like, there's going to be the little merch stand. Your mates doing it in it, yeah. and then there's going to be a meet and greet, and everyone loves you, and they know you got like going on it. If you can get out <laughs> of that meet and greet, <laughs> with that, I will be so fucking shocked. Nah, I'm I'm I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm not I'm, I'll have a drink after the show, obviously, but I'm not getting levered oh i'm gutted we're on tour at the same time i'd yeah. love to come and do like a support slot and yeah. wow there must be a time where he's a close though and he's come surely you must be able to like link it up yeah but my yeah my tour's not quite as i genuinely can't do it i'm going back to a premier room with two stoners yeah very light people i've got was <laughs> on as well was next one tour support oh shit <laughs> What he uh, likes a pint. He ate a bevy as well. <laughs> <laughs> Should we do some underrated overrated? Yeah. I'm fancying a speed round. Whenever Adam's on here, you love a speed round. When what? When Adam's on here, you love a speed round. Yeah, because I, I don't know. It's something about a speed round that I enjoy. Speed round, speed round. This is underrated overrated. You know yeah. the score, don't you? I know a lot. Manny Chohan says... <laughs> <laughs> Danny Max. <laughs> 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 this pub's well better now um, underrated overrated coffee edition cappuccino underrated overrated appropriately rated yeah I don't drink coffee so I'm out of this it sits fine you both it's don't a, no it's a lady it's, it's like, like a you say it's a ladies drink it's a ladies coffee it's a, it's a I don't it's mind a cappuccino coffee, it's all right. I, think, I think it's appropriately rated I don't think it's Above its station, I don't think it's below its station. I think it fits perfectly into what it's rated is where it's And at. everyone knows that they get it with the cappuccino as well. Yeah, cappuccino. Yeah. Espresso. <laughs> no, but when I used to work in restaurants, if you asked me for any kind of coffee, you just got a cappuccino. <laughs> oh, <that's cool>. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have an espresso. Uh, this is a this is a frothy espresso. Well, they Espresso's exist. underrated, I think. What's that called, Steve? Latte. No, the little one. Cortado. Cortado. That exists because Italian women weren't allowed to drink coffee. So they used to hide it with the milk. So it's a shot of espresso with a little bit of uh, whipped milk on the top. <laughs> they weren't allowed to drink coffee. No, so they'd hide it from the men with a little bit of whipped milk on the top. There you go. Bit yeah, of fucking he's going to be fine in Italy. Um, Tomorrow. I will, uh, I, I'm, I'm going espresso, definitely underrated. It's a functional thing, isn't it? Oh, though? it's so good. And I don't even like the taste of coffee, but if you need a fucking... I told you I did that before my final <laughs> exams, though, in yeah. uni, and that was a big mistake. I'm a I flat white see. guy, I mean, keep it simple. Flat white or latte. Yeah, if same. I'm on the continent. If I get a coffee, I get an iced latte. Oh, no, nah, don't like a cold coffee. No. That's the only time Unless, I'll ever drink no. one. Sometimes and I'll feel like I can see time moving even though everyone can if you don't yeah if you need a Start shit often, if yeah. you need a, ch a shit get a fucking double espresso in you uh ella linford says under eight over eight the women's world cup and the lionesses <laughs> um, good they are all good 
The officiating, listen, I'm, it's great that the women have got the World Cup and it's so, I don't think women <laughs> should be allowed to officiate it. Fucking love Lauren Hemp, man. Who's that one? She was the one who's like proper dogged up front, draw like, They've all closed, got every, closed everything down. And everything. Did you see that fucking, the president of the yeah. Spanish FA? Apologize. Full on kiss one of the Spanish players. You're like, dude, come on, well, mate. Dalai Lama with kids. Yeah, that's what everyone was saying. Have you seen when he hugs the girl on the one of the substitutes? Oh. He grabs her tit. <laughs> the manager? Yeah. They've had loads of beef with the manager. I've re I read about <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, because he keeps touching tit. It wasn't that. It was something else. I can't Well, remember. all the Spanish team boycotted the team. Yeah, that's they? what I mean. Why was that? I can't can't remember. I did read it, but I can't remember now. I liked your other like. I liked that you could hear the ref when they made the VAR decision. Superb, that. Right. See that in the final? I saw one of the longest VAR decisions I've ever seen. The handball? Just come, just get on with it. Yeah. She looked at it for ages, didn't she? I, I, yeah. The officiating needs to be... They did great. They did really fucking well. It's the same in the men's game. The officiating. They did well. Oh, is it? Hell, yeah. It's got to be patronising to call it underrated and like, oh, they're so brave. No, it's a bit patronising. No one said that. <laughs> <laughs> they are so brave. Wearing kits like that, you know. No, no people coming out of the way to say how much they loved it. Yeah. I think that's a bit. Oh, I feel like the same amount of money, money, but I won't pay to go and watch it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Pay them anyway. No, that's not works. But then some, I, there was some lads in a like, group chat. I'm in, like going, "Fam, fuck, they lost never at the end of it." Like, Fucking hell, lad, come on. Why would you? Why would you deliberately want a solution? Just so I saw one of the quotes like <laughs> everyone's so talking about 1966 in the build-up. I was like, I don't think everyone's, not everyone's talking about it. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's not quite. It's not the same. I think the, it's a it's a World Cup win for women's football. I'd, I'd not potentially, but I'd not watched. I, I missed the Euros last year. I was and I think I was sexist. away. Um, so I'd not watched women's football for a while, and then we watched the game here. You and the, imp the improvements have come on so they're doing much. so well. Oh, no, no, no. I mean, they're so brave. Yeah. In terms of <laughs> they're brave, aren't they? Because those boots can hurt their feet. They're coming on. So I've yeah, not watched not it for five years. I've, I've not watched it for five years. Keep wading years. through these mucky waters. For them to play in high heels, that is fucking well done, girls. Honestly, with their makeup streaming because it was hot, wasn't it? It's yeah. Australia. Yeah. They don't. They're so brave. Heroes. They have periods as well. <laughs> of good play. Go on, Finn. Make your very, very yeah, valid was, point. It was good. It was. Some, some of the yeah. games are really the good. The goals yeah. are too big. Can yeah. I say it out loud? The goals are too big. Yeah. Right. Yeah, slight, yeah cause just, Make the goals just, relative to the size of the people playing the game. If you made the goals in the men's game relative to the size... You'd score every shot. Imagine the keep men's goals like You're fifteen not, foot yeah, tall, yeah. high. It'd be better. No, it'd be worse. <laughs> you can't reach the crossbar. It'd be more gold. Make it'll be it'll be twelve eleven. I know. I know. What Make you're the goals relative size, and the game will improve a lot. Well, that's what they say in the women's uh, NBA, don't they? Is it the same the, height? The the the, 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 the hoop. The hoop should yeah. come down. Is it, is it, it the same height as the men's hoop? I think so. Yeah. That, it, it's not fun, then, is it? Make it so it's relative to the the people playing. I think it was Shaq or someone was saying, it's just missing the dunk because there's a limitation of what can be done. Exactly. You just feel like you're being a douchebag even talking about it. But um, they did fucking great. Oh, big up Mary Earps as well. And she's mate, a goalkeeper. Yeah, yeah but they didn't class. put a shirt on sale. I yeah. love it. I love it afterwards when she saved the penalty and they had the camera on and she was going, fuck, fuck off. off. Fuck off! It was so good. I was like, yes, bro. Mary Oops is the top G. Bullshit. Did you see the, loved it. the goal scorer that died that day? Oh, shit. What a mad... Like, during the match. What do you remember Fuck of that? during the match. She got told about it after she came off the field, yeah. apparently. After she oh scored the... Uh, what do you remember that day the most, there? Uh, really? The World Cup winning goal or your dad down? Like, that is such a your head mad... head apart. Like, you, no one's brain can take that. No. That is the pinnacle of no, it's, her career and the, one of the worst moments of her personal One life. of the worst moments of her life, totally that overshadowing of spectrum, one yeah. of the best bits. You're like, oh, God. Like, it, how, how does she look back at that day? It's mad. It's a little bit pride. Well, at least she got a tit grabbed. That was a nice little lad on his own. Well, That's what her mum said. <laughs> your dad's dead, but at least you get your tit grabbed. Uh, Very this, Spanish. Honestly, these three <laughs> these three next entries totally sum up Heath. what we're what we're doing here. <laughs> One's put Millie's put avocado, Darius has put jazz music, and Chris has put transgender porn. Let's do them in that order. Uh, Let's Mil rank them. Uh, underrated, overrated, <laughs> avocado. What are you saying? I think it's overrated. overrated. It's nice. It's fine. 
but it got Northern Court killed it, lad. Like, you don't, not on everything, lad. Yeah, a bit of eggs on, egg on toast and that, yeah, but fucking get it away from your plate. I agree. Yeah. It's tasteless as well. It's J fine. Jazz music. In the right circumstance. <laughs> Overrated as fuck. In the right circumstance, like if I was at a jazz club. <laughs> no, <laughs> and, and, and same goes for transgender transgender porn please. in the right place, mate. Trans you know, trans. if I'm at a transgender club, can yes. we rank them three things, please? Avocados, jazz, and transgender Tra porn. Trans oh. porn's the only one I've engaged in. Oh, I'd have trans porn at the top of this. Yeah. Oh, I'm not having an avocado. What's better, jazz or avocados? <laughs> <laughs> Jazz I love a bit of transgender porn. I love smoking the jazz like, oh. avocado. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Jazz seems cool because it's got that, like, ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba -da. I'm wearing a velvet blazer. And I'm, I'm, we could make jazz music now and go, wow, that's generational. <laughs> I, saw I don't know if jazz musicians would feel no, the Generational. <laughs> <laughs> I saw da -da -da. <laughs> Fucking da -da -da. Don't trust avocados. I like a lady with a dick. I saw I saw a band that were just dressed as uh, robots made out of garbage, like tins of beans and that, just like whacking into the mic That's and, Edinburgh, and, everyone, and everyone going Stop. everyone going mental for it. Is that Edinburgh? No, Wingfest. Oh, how was that? I saw lots sick, on social mate. media it about fantastic. it. Yeah, Wingfest it is, sick, is that John McLeod? Yeah, 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 yeah. smashing it. class. It was good. We uh, did a whole festival. Yeah, it's on like, wings. It wasn't the first one either, was it? Is oh it? my god, it's huge, yeah. mate. Thousands of, um, yeah, transpons class, <laughs> isn't it? I've ne I honestly, I've never watched it. No, it's good, there's man. something great to it. Just watching a, a a beautiful porn star get absolutely wellied by a beautiful lady with a dick is just. I'm into it. I was. I was. I like it. What are you? Job, what are you attracted to? The whoppy. There was one I don't where know. my favorite one ever. I think ever, I watched too much porn, so I've gone too far down the road. I'm like, my vivid one ever was like she was, you know, she was sucking him off, and she was like, compliment his his cock and that. And then the camera pens down. She goes, "Is it good as this?" So she starts wheeling hers. Fucking hell, it was good. <laughs> <laughs> good, uh, so good. Hanging out with another animal, I yeah, love it. Yeah, they had jazz in the background as well. <laughs> 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 yeah, jazz music is a, it, it's a scam. You're going back to jazz music, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> then she's just banging things together. And everyone, Steering this nicely out. <laughs> yeah. oh, can, can I just tell you? <laughs> Generation all that. It can be a nice background of a nice evening, nice third Let's go day. Go in a lift. Sorry, what? Nice third day. Let's go down the jazz Where does club. the transporn come into the day? <laughs> Fourth day, transporn. Yeah. Fifth day, avocados for breakfast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's why I don't go Danny Max, Thai women. You don't know when you're going to be involved in transporn. They keep on avocados in the Guinness. <laughs> <laughs> uh, job speed round. Nope. Joe Green says, <laughs> underrated, overrated, supermarket cafes. I used to love a Morrison's cafe. We your nan. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. It's a it's, nan gaff, in her. Yeah. Yeah. She, she used to get a latte and we'd have the, the cream off the top. Because they weren't allowed to drink. <laughs> yeah, they weren't yeah, allowed yeah. it. She's got a foot whale on it. <laughs> you won't get avocado on fucking anything in a Morrison's cafe. They won't do it. Um, Good breakfast and all them gaffs, though. I don't know. It's, just, it's overrated, no, no. though. I've isn't never it? been. It's overrated, but anyone an over 60 yeah. is basically overrating it, I think. They're just... L <laughs> Perry was like... Yeah, yeah, I don't like our Morrison's cat figures. We woman nearly had a fight with a woman. What happened? The dinner lady woman. They're not dinner... <laughs> they look like dinner ladies, don't they? They are dinner ladies. The ladies who make dinner. They're like they're like private sector dinner ladies, aren't they? Yeah. Public sector's the schools. Yeah. You want more pay, go Morrison's. Yeah, because she, she made the order and then they went, oh, we've run out of that. And she went, all right, no worries, I'll go back. No, what? And she... How can they run out of anything? <laughs> Morrison's is there. Oh, no, yeah, it is unacceptable for oh, that cafe to be like, we don't have point. any more beans. <laughs> you fucking do. <laughs> Aisle three. Aisle three. That was a good point, yeah. And then, uh, so my mum went, oh, I know it's, I'll, I'll cancel my order. And she queued back up. And then, oh no. And then the guy said, oh no, we've had to, we've got yours. I just meant there's no more after yours. So she was like, oh. Why are we just having anybody that? Who cares about So, that? So my mum, my mum just went like frustrated at the situation, not at them. And then he went, well, if you're going to be like that. I mean, one went, oh, I'm being like that to the situation, not you. And then she fucking started arguing and that's the moment. I'll fuck off. 
go Gregs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one of the builders was rude to me today in my own house. Did he say hello though? No. No. I'd never met this fella before. New one. And what he was, did he say? So he's carrying both. Oh, a new one? Yeah. Halfway through the build. Towards the end of the build. There's new What's ones it? every day. He's carrying boards in because they're boarding the walls. And I think your house has become a homeless hot light shelter. <laughs> I genuinely think there shouldn't be this much turnover. No, it's all like he's the spark, he's the plumber. Right, right, right. It's right, all right, different right. traits. <coughs> he's oh, the what? drifter. Oh, Emotional. Oh, oh. It's upsetting, isn't it? He's the saxophonist. <laughs> saxophonist. <laughs> he comes in with a board. <laughs> Such a pedant. <laughs> he's literally cried through one word. <laughs> <laughs> saxophonist. <laughs> Comes in with a board and I let him go because my horse quite narrow. So I was like, come on, lad, after you. Comes in with it and puts it down. And then I stood where I was to let him go back out again. Polite, in and out. And he went, go on, lad. And I went, no, no, after you. He went, you going that way? And I went, well, yeah, but go on after you. I'll just, I'll have a word with him. He went, that's why I was asking if you go on that way. And I went, oh, well, I was, but I was, you can go. He went, right. And I was like, lad. I like, go and get the fuck out of my house, you cheeky cunt. Yeah, it's funny, but someone did it to Binti what Black, Black Stock and like went, you know, this is my gaff, don't you? They couldn't give like, a fuck. Tried, just like trying to be dickheads to him. Yeah, like, who are you talking to in my yeah, house? Yeah, it's mad that. Yeah. Mad. Carl likes a certain. It's just a sort of. A the Oh, master. The no. Thank you so much for. No, I like that. <laughs> I'm sleeping under the stairs, you'll never know. Scouts, you just need this. Tap my delight. Bam. We're best mates. We're oh. cool. Was he scouts? Of course he, he was. He should know better. Should hire Thai women. <laughs> Whoa. And then Jamie won't drink in your house. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Final <laughs> bit of speed round. Fuck him if he's listening. Because I know some other lads listen. Tell him he's a cheeky cunt. He's not like back on me. Mr. House. Boss Man, Mr. Boss Man. Y'all walk in front of Move me. Move your van as well, you fucking daft twat. They allowed van. Finn McDermott says, couple of food based ones for you. Uh, Muller rice or rice pudding. But, um, You're not asked. I'm not a pudding man, man. Oh, mate, rice pudding is everything. Not for me. Rice pudding. You would with, despise it. With a jam in. Yeah. With a bit of jam in the middle. Oh, oh mate. Don't mind that. Me nan's off star. Yeah, but yeah. The jam's doing all the heavy lifting, isn't it? Nah, the texture of the rice is Hot great. Hot rice pudding is so nice. It's like Grand Risotto. Yeah. What? <laughs> yeah, it is. Jam makes everything better, though. Don't no. it? No. Bac Toast? Bacon. Ba bacon and muller rice? No. Jam doesn't make bacon better. You can put chili jam on it. Yeah, shut up then. Chili <laughs> jam. <laughs> rice pudding is heavy and I love it. Yeah, right, rice pudding is uh, Baby bells. Oh, overrated. Underrated. Fuck off, it's plastic nah, cheese. Nah, it's well nice. Overrated, well it's nice. just because of the fucking marketing, mate. You've no. been hoodwinked by no. the system, bro. No. Literally, you have. No. When I was a kid, that's all I wanted in the supermarket was that and Red Bull. So my mum said, no, <laughs> baby bells too expensive and Red Bull's alcohol. Baby bells are fire. I didn't, I didn't eat cheese till 17. I used to be so jealous of the kids with baby bells. I was like, <laughs> why, why, I could, why? Why? I was just a dead fussy eater. Yeah. yeah I was, I you just... would have eaten the red stuff. <laughs> <laughs> the Campbell wax that comes in. It looked like Kate. It looked like a little sweetie. It's horrible. It's plastic cheese. It's scum. Nah. I sometimes like a bit of plastic nice. cheese. Yeah. I, did, I didn't have pizza. Like so like in the stuffed crust, in the stuffed crust yeah. filling. Oh, then stuff oh, crust. Not, like, stuff stringy. crust is overrated. Yeah, it, yeah, it Stop is. Stop messing with me crust. Exactly. Get, get that hot dog out me crust. Oh, no, they're yeah, weird. That. Put it in a fucking... That's a sex crime. Put it in a bun, lad, mustard. He's never had a hot dog in his entire life. Yeah, yeah just get a hot dog next to a pizza. Do you know what's good for hot dogs? Like proper sausages, though. Don't like the cheap tin ones. Like, I don't mind a cheap tin one if you're at a like, barbecue in that. Oh, but a proper... Loads of onions. Yeah. Tomato sauce. Oh, oh come on, man. Oh, Should we have some hot dogs there? Yeah. <laughs> Should we try a hot dog? <laughs> will you try a hot dog for the first time? Yeah, if it's a good one, I will. Yes. If it's a five guys hot dog, I will try it. Okay, we'll order it in. Can I not have onion on it? I don't like onion. No problem. I won't get mustard because I don't like it. Not asked. Oh. What's the alternative? Last week I tried Greg's and it was... First I had Greg's. Lad, he spat a steak bake out. Uh, oh, he come on. spat man. a steak bake out. It's honestly affecting my tour sales. The amount of annoyance. <laughs> One lad just messaged me. It was like, he, was, he was like, you're actively pissing me off with this food thing. <laughs> Joe and Miss from Greg's had a great steak and kidney pie as well. Oh, and they got rid yeah. of him. Joe, the proper one, Joe, Martins as well. Do you have Martins in Liverpool? Yeah. Them steak pies are upside I always thought down Sayers, pie. I always thought Sayers was the best out of the them chains. I like the Sayers sausage roll the best. Waterfields. I love sausage Greenhouses. rolls. Greenhouses. Oh. Um, Wigan way. I'm out. 
Wigan way. Shall we do a confession? Go. And Ooh. see where Jamie sits on it. We're looking for Jermaine Penance. Or if we just we give him a pass. Yeah. Confessions. <laughs> All right, lids. Please keep me anonymous. I'm dead close to my nan and granddad. Every time I go see them, they treat me like I'm still about eight and throw me a tenner because in my nan's words, it's better off in my pocket than theirs. <laughs> Fire. This happened usually once a week if I take them shopping or something for helping them out. I need to confess that I go to see them like four or five times a week nearer <laughs> to payday because I know I'm going to get given some money that will tide me over. I love spending time with them, but I know why I'm there. I'm a, <laughs> am I a prick for milking this or resourceful because it's better in my pocket than theirs. Cheers, anonymous. Um, well, the thing is, you're giving your granddad joy because yep. I, I take it if you're old enough to drive and that, they, they might not have long left, so they're going to value your time. Um, a tenor, don't, a, don't, tenor a visit. don't use it as a primary source to go and see your grand, though. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, that's a bonus. It's not the yeah. reason you go. Yeah, I think if you're on the fourth Tenor visit... a visit, though. Yeah, the yeah, fourth heavy. visit a day. Paying for the petty, though, isn't he, really? Why aren't you working, love? Because you're paying better. That's... I remember the first... So my, every time I go down, she give me a tenner, and my granddad would give me the handshake. That, re that varied from a five or two or 20, depending on how you felt. You were getting, paid, oh, in, in you were getting paid off both of them? Both of them, yeah. In the same household? Because he'd do the thing like, don't tell you, no. Oh, I love that. But he, she, yeah. And what would she, would she oh, do, hang don't on. Tell so, you granddad? so she's no, giving you the no. wage and he, he's giving you the bonus. She'd give me a tenner every every Sunday and then he, on the way out, he'd shake me on the go, don't tell you, no. Oh, my granddad used to give me a Murray Mint and say, don't tell you, grand. Yeah. I will unless this is cash <laughs> next time. But I remember I was like mid 20s, early to mid 20s, and obviously that, uh, and she went to give me a tenner and I was like, no, it's okay. I've, I've got a job now. Like I earn money. She's like, what? I was like, I don't need it. Keep it. And she was so proud of me. She wants to give me more money because of it. She's like, that is amazing. <laughs> oh, do We've that. just up your wages. That's yeah. a great thing. Do that. You'll switch it around and get 30 quid. Yeah. <laughs> Say, no, this is on me. This Play one. them off each other. I didn't, but you could. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm just giving you 20, you bad fucking tycoon. <laughs> give me 30 quid now. Boss, she get 50 quid a week. Uh, last one. <laughs> <laughs> Anonymous confession time, lads. Not too sure yeah. if this is a sin or just me being a cunt. When the missus and I are having the sexy time and she goes down on me, I always have my phone to hand. That's due to if she's oh. do if she's on a good day, I'm just browsing Twitter ETC, waiting for the big finale. On the other hand, if she's on a bad day or my cock is just being stubborn, I'm browsing porn without her knowing it to help me finish. Whoa. Do I need penance? Yes. Don't do that, man. Whoa. You look like Edvard Munch scream there. <laughs> can we get that on the Can we get that the thumbnail? Can you drop the mic and do it again? <laughs> no, because Jack hasn't taken any pictures. <laughs> uh, or Margaret Thatcher. You look like he's one of them. What? What which she had a stroke and then died. Now she's dust. Yeah. I'm not I'm not covered in soil though, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the Tories. Um, uh, the, the find other ways to climax. Don't use porn so it's, while she's there. Point your mean? toes. Point your toes. Yeah. That's it. That makes me come. That's why ballet dancers are jizzing everywhere. <laughs> Do a bit of role play, mate. Pretend she's a town crier. Yeah. That's and she's, she's not got a permit renewed. Oh. And you're the counsellor coming around go, you got oh, your yeah. permit, love. She went, oh, no. I went, is there any way around it? Oh, there's a way around it. Hear ye, hear ye. Suck me it's off. a classic, but... Imagine, imagine that um, you are head of the Spanish uh, <laughs> FA and she's Ooh. just, you know, won the World Cup. Yeah. 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 Your dad's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Dad said, "Now suck my dick." <laughs> um, is she not looking? I reckon if is she doing an undercover? If is I she under that, the covers, like doing a duck a job and blow job? job. If I was on my no, I contact. Matt is this Adam? Well. Is this Adam sending this in? <laughs> I can't stop scrolling. Uh, it's, it's, that's that's too rude. It's vanguard of order. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Just, having your phone in any kind of sex? What are you doing? Right. His uh, penance should be. Hang on. Jamie's, Jamie's giving the penance. Oh, what, shit. What's he got to do? Carl, what do you think he should do? He's, I mean, he's doing think... penance. We're not impressed with this. No, I'm I not. Feel like, I think he should have something off-putting on his phone. 
if that's what he's going to do. Yeah, but then he's never managed, isn't it? The last yeah, three well, then that's Gale. his own fault. Paul Gale, got Lockjaw. So he's he's got to get his phone out. Yeah, and put like Janice Battersby on it or something. Oh, she's fit, mate. Les was tap on that as well. Uh, John <laughs> fucking Rob Allen said yeah. Les and Janice are me and Tony. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Les? <laughs> um, Toya, was it Toya? Yeah. Yeah, and Leanne. And Leanne. Adopted. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the knowledge. Uh, uh, so I I think you've got a motter out three unanswered times. So she goes to chew you off and you go, nah, no, let, let me satisfy you. It's all about you, babe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and watch whatever you want. Yeah. Season three of Love Island, whatever, the good yeah. stuff. How'd you do that when you... Oh, she's watching Yeah, yeah, telly. she gets privilege. Yeah, it's yeah. Put, put put the tell, <laughs> put the tally on. I'll uh, I'll go downtown. Right. You know, and say no to a blowjob. So she think, oh, you're worth more than that. Let's go to a spa weekend. <laughs> well, this is costly penance, isn't it? Yeah. Well, don't fucking watch Chinese battles while you're getting chewed. That's a real bang the gavel. <laughs> Let's have a break. <laughs> What's happening, ladies and gentlemen? Time to tell you about my absolute favorite sponsor, NordVPN, the best VPN in the game. It will up your internet security and give you the privacy you'd have to search for whatever you like with this. No one's going to know. Adam, you'd think I'd know better after all these many years of being sponsored by Nord, but I do not know what a VPN is. A VPN is a, a way to up your internet security, as I said, and also you can change your location to anywhere on the planet. So as I've said to you before, it's mad that you keep forgetting this. The Premier League season is back upon us. Is it? And a lot of the games kick off at three o'clock and they're not broadcast in the UK. Do they? But if you tell your computer, hey, I'm not in the UK. I'm in Mozambique on my annual trip. Do you know what I mean? It'll be like, oh, well, we'll show you the Mozambique broadcast of Liverpool against Bournemouth oh this God, weekend, yeah. for example. Confident. You know what I mean? If you sign up at NordVPN.com, uh, what's our promo code, Steve? Uh, oh, nordvpn.com yeah. slash have a word uh, there's an exclusive deal you'll get four months free if you take the, the two year package honestly if you get a VPN you never go back I, I put it off for years Carl was always telling me to get one I didn't get one I did get one I got a NordVPN it is the best thing I pay for every single month and it opens up your internet to all kinds of interest and possibilities go and do it now you will not regret it you nailed that. You know the way people say you never regret going for a workout, but you feel like anxious about going for it in the first place. I understand you, it's new to you, but you never regret the workout and you're not going to regret the VPN either. That worked, didn't it? Is it an analogy? Finished? That, did it finish? Mm. You nailed it. And the extra bit. Yeah. Nord! What's happening, ladies and gentlemen? It's time to tell you about our main guys, the longest standing sponsors we've got, our absolute boys, manscaped.com, an OG sponsor to have a word, supported us from back in the day, and they've got some brand new products. We've been shaving our cocks for years. Time to shave our faces as well. Dan? I've been using the Manscaped that they gave us ages ago for my fucking beard as well. I use it for everything. The Beard Hedger Pro Kit that they've just announced. I think we're the first podcast in the UK to be selling this. It's a massive kit, and this is an amazing piece of equipment. Beard trimmer. On top of the beard trimmer, you get the beard oil, you get the beard shampoo, the beard conditioner, the beard balm, this little brush. You could even clean your golf clubs with that. You know what I mean? You got this to clip the strays off. Manscaped.com. Use the promo code WORD20. You get 20% off site-wide and you get free delivery worldwide. You can get something to shave your face, something to shave your penis, something to shave your wife's pussy. You can shave everything in your life using Manscaped.com and 20% off the most, the most men, men are difficult to buy for. And this is one of the best presents you will ever give. Isn't it? Yeah. I'd be well happy. Why do you get the man who's got everything? A beard hedger. Mm. Manscaped.com. Word 20. 20% 20 off. Do it. Free delivery. Do it. Saw your head out. Shave your face. And your cock. And your wife's asshole. The advent's over, Adam. Oh, Kim Pod. Part three. Rich Wilson's here, ladies and gents. Hello. Hello. Hey. You can't hear that with his cheers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheers everywhere I go. It's a, <laughs> it's a preset that every other podcast uses. The rest are all our own. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Rich Wilson. Some uh, fucking good eggs in here. 
Belting eggs, free range. <laughs> like, are you battery? <laughs> are you battery? Are you a battery egg? I think I'd be more of a battery egg. Do you reckon? If I was an egg. You've yeah. done well though. Yeah. From yeah. a battery egg, a beautiful omelet has <laughs> appeared. Well, I had good, I had good <laughs> eggs around me. <laughs> Colour coordinated omelet rituals. I'm 100% a battery chicken. I'm, I'm not really I'm a, allowed out. I'm a battered chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not all, I just got my head kicked in. <laughs> You're grounded. You could be more of a battered chicken. Yeah, I can't even lay eggs. Don't want to keep me. <laughs> I don't even, even if I got free, I'd be like, <laughs> I'd want to be back in the cage. The chicken's like eggs. It's ends, isn't it? Chickens do the fucking. Do they? Is that why they keep no, that's them? That's the cocks. Yeah. Cox, chickens Cox chickens have cocks. Cocks fuck, yeah. Cocks fuck, Cox, fuck chicken. Cocks fuck and hens and <laughs> Yeah, but they're all... Is, chicken's basically just the meat, isn't it? <laughs> isn't it? Hang on, talk me through it. <laughs> are cocks and hens both chicken? Are they both chickens? You mean uh, like collectively? Yeah. T yeah. Right. I'm did, what, their did, species is chicken, but within that, they are cock and hen. Right, how right, do right, eggs right, work? Right. Oh, have you seen that egg machine? <laughs> I'm not the only one, Ben. <laughs> I don't know how eggs Get work. Get on this, mate. This egg machine is one of the best things in the world, mate, what? right? All the chickens give birth to the eggs, yeah? Farmer nicks them. There's this UV light, and they go, oh, that one's pregnant, that one's pregnant, that one's pregnant. And they take them all out. That's how they know. They're not chicks in there, just yolk. Yeah, that is really? fire, mate. Seriously, yeah. I've had I've had I've had some different theories about eggs, but I don't trust them, and I don't want to eat them. <laughs> oh, you don't eat egg, do you? Eggs oh, oh yeah, you got a weird thing about eggs. Yeah, but I don't it? understand. No, it's not a weird it. thing about anything. Yeah, yeah <laughs> food. He had his first sausage roll last week. What are you saying? What? Forty-two. How? Strong four out of ten, mate. But it's annoying it's a lot of people. Steak bake out. What are you talking about? This is the staple of the working class man. Yeah, exactly. well, sausage you know. Sausage roll. As soon as you're born, it just gets sausage roll. When you're, born, when you're born to my level in life, you know. <laughs> silver oh, spoon. Yeah. Oh, yeah, <laughs> real silver spoon. What real we like. Roll. Preston aristocracy, mate. Sausage roll and soup. Two cars! Sausage God. roll and soup, but you use sausage roll as a spoon. Fire. How do you get all the soup? What? That checks out. Like you dip it. You don't soak it. As a no, you dip it. Yeah. yeah. It's a yeah. working class hummus dip. You soak. Steak meat. Fire. <laughs> Sausage roll and soup, mate, is unreal winter food. What's your favourite winter food? It has to be a tomato soup with loads of crusty, butty bread. Yeah, 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 yeah. Soup and a sandwich. Oh, yeah, or yeah, yeah. jar of gravy. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. What's what? just, just a jar. I, you, just I sometimes a... dip gravy into soup. That's how working class I am. What soup have you had, Dan? What, what? what soup have you had? Gravy soup. <laughs> no, what soup have you We do this every had? week, Dan. Man soup. Have you ever eaten soup? <laughs> Minestrone soup. <laughs> it's peng, mate. Big, not the Italian stuff. Have Dan, you ever eaten Dan. soup? British soup. What? <laughs> yeah, potato and, British people. Pe potato and leek soup. <laughs> uh, cabbage, potato, tomato. onion. Yeah, tomato, cabbage, potato, <laughs> chicken soup. soup. Oh, I'm my head. Let me do this, Dan. Have you ever eaten soup? What? Yeah. Are you lying? I have. I've tried it. What? Which one? Tomato. You've mm. tried soup? Just, is it a textures thing? It just tomato soup is like the <laughs> the worst bit of a cold pizza without the cheese and bread. <laughs> That's how it feels. <laughs> No, <laughs> soup's amazing. Well. no, but I'm working class as well, so you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Have Just we have soup <laughs> and like two soups and a sausage roll. Soup's best in a cup. As a two bed, soups, I two sleep soups. two soups and a bed soup of sausage a, roll. That's how working class. Soup out. and a cup and a fat. Loads, a fat oh, mark. you had a cup. Well, Fucking lardy dog. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't have cups for our soup. We just got him in the hand like gruel. <laughs> Tomato soup and the bread's that buttery. It leaves like a. Yeah. It goes into the soup and leaves like a little swell. Yeah, yeah. Like, we didn't oh, even have. You meant to put butter in beans. Oh yeah. What? Mm, yeah. Oh yeah. You're cooking baked beans, low heat, butter gives it a shine. Black pepper, bit of Tabasco. Oh, so you're doing that on your YouTube sauce. show. <laughs> nah, I came up with it. I invented beans, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it just wasn't unhealthy enough. Add butter in there. You've got to have butter in beans, mate, trust me. Beans on toast, lad. You're a healthy man. Do you eat well, Rich? You look <laughs> I'm healthier. Healthier than yeah. Do you remember, I, I always say this about Dan. Yeah, you might have a weird thing with different food and that. But I remember when we were away working, we were in Cyprus. And I oh, went out. Can I you, say, Rich, you, you, you were my favourite ever Cypress buddy. You were so nice because I'd been there with some good, uh, Jeff Norcott was sound and I yeah. went with a other, other couple of people who just wanted a week long afternoon nap. 
and you were <laughs> the nicest guy. Rich is the best person. He like doesn't get annoyed about anything. If you just oh. tune in, we had the best time. Yep. We got hammered at the right time. Oh, it was just such good company. Very, very yeah. good post gig drink company. Rich yeah. Richardson. Well, the thing oh. is, I've got a side, but I just know when to bring it out. Do you know what I mean? Like, if you piss me <laughs> off, you'll know about it. But oh, yeah. most of the time, I'm pretty chill. But when we were away, it was there was one night you hadn't gone out, we had. And we it, whenever we went on these trips, it was like total annihilation. It was like we were trying to just drink all the all the booze on your island. Yeah, because you're on an island. Yeah. Uh, doing, well, it feels like a holiday. And then at six o'clock, yeah. it's almost like the Green Mile, like dead man walking. <laughs> dead man. You get driven to an army base and you're like, this could be awful. It could be six people and awkward. It could be 300 and bedlam. It could be 120 people and dead sound. Was it's that almost, yeah. you feel gaslit by the, the work you're like it's the decompression lot when they're coming back from like i nearly said it ran when they're coming back from you know one of them and they're <laughs> all those ones out there. you get the racism out of them give them a fucking dinghy let them fucking oh i thought it was at war with cyprus or something yeah we were at war with cyprus <laughs> yeah, we were, yeah. Peter <laughs> Andre, felt like it what, <laughs> you I, you went out and i i for some reason we'd gone out right. you hadn't and then and we got annihilated and i remember i just got lost as well that night i ended up walking miles the wrong way and then i happened to get up really high and i happened to see a ship out at sea <laughs> and I went oh yeah we live near the sea <laughs> even though we're on an island <laughs> i could have gone anywhere and, I'm gone. and anyway so i get back and i call into bed and it's like four or five a.m and i'm just laying there like dying and then i don't know what time it was you just appeared you sort of knocked gently on the door and you came gliding in and you just put this glass of juice with ice in it oh and you went God. i think you might need that mate and then you just slid out the room like Patrick Swayze in Ghost. You were just gone. And to this day, I still fantasize about that glass of juice. <laughs> I don't know what it was. I don't know what juice it was. It was perfection. Oh, mate, that's unbelievable. Yeah. It was, it was, he just I came got in, in for a shag. That's the thing. <laughs> I was like, wow. Oh, yeah. oh, mate, that, what a move. That it was, it was, like, it was oh, perfect. I can taste it. Yeah. Wow. But that's it. Am I wrong? When you've got a little yeah. bro thing going on. Superb. You've just, you look out for the... the Florence was... Nightingale. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's his name. Yeah. Florence Nightingale was a famous nurse. Jamie H. Comedy, he's on tour. <laughs> September 20th. Sometimes they pay him for this. <laughs> <laughs> he did hum on balls. That was nice. He came in, dropped the drink, hummed on me balls for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Don't put that on. Play. Saying that, the other day I went to Dan's house for the first time. You, you, you got me flavoured drinking. You, you are a thoughtful guy. Yeah, time. yeah, yeah. It's lovely. I all love right. it. I love yeah, attentiveness. Cool. This is fun, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Who needs to be funny when we're all fucking attentiveness licking balls? Attentiveness is very important and you've got it. Oh, remembering things is good. Yeah, that's what attentiveness remembering, yeah. remembering what you think is minute, but to that person, it's big. He's the best I can't at that. I can all Ruby Con now. Yeah. You're the best at that. Am I? Yeah. You're very, yeah, you're very Remembering attentive. little things about people you've met like once. He's <laughs> fucked his head's full. I'm the new... I'm Can the I new... just tell you? <laughs> yeah. This is very obviously not an Adam episode. <laughs> <laughs> He'd be like, fucking bullshit. He doesn't remember anything about me. Adam's oh. been cool as well though. I was in Dubai with Adam. Adam was brilliant company. He's a great, he's he a great pilot. He's great. Good him, company. And, him and Brendan Reese. And also with Top Adam, That's he's, a good squad. he's good at being like, yeah. I want to do this. I, th I can't imagine. Oh no, sometimes he gets a bit like... I want to do this, but he he does tune in well. Yeah, he just goes. Yeah. Sometimes he will go over the floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, those foreign trips, it's all about who you're with. Oh, God, it really yeah. is. It's too, like, I can gig with anyone and be like, for a weekend, put a face on it. Yep. Oh, you're going out for lunch on Saturday. I am actually doing some writing. <laughs> doing loads of writing on my own. In a restaurant, eating food on my own, <laughs> but writing. Um, those week long 10 day trips yeah. it is uh, you can't be out with a fucking Mate. bell bell whiff there's a promoter that when we we're out with them and they were going oh what was happening there was good, there, in each group of comedians coming out there was at least one of them that was a dickhead so what we've decided to do we've put all the dickheads together and we bring them out together oh my god yeah right so we can just deal with them the group wow. of death yeah yes and then i got a text from one of them one day one one comedian he went i'm out with these right dickheads <laughs> <laughs> i was like oh yeah that's a shame man that's a shame i just sort of left it 100 <laughs> percent. i'm doing birmingham glee this weekend i know it's not going away first full thing, of dickheads first, you know, like, if you're on the bill <laughs> no, first thing i do is check the line up to see who has a drink and there's so many comics who don't drink anymore man I'm just like yeah. put the piss cans together so we can have yeah. a party. Yeah. And then so put the Friday night gig <laughs> is amazing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And everyone looks fucking awful on, on the Saturday. Saturday yeah. 
Yeah, amount of times I've been, it... yeah, amount of times I've been stood in a in a northern town on my own because all the other comics either live nearby and gone home, or they just don't drink. Oh, sure, do, they could up. just like hur, hur, hur. <laughs> Jamie would come in on the fucking mega bus. <laughs> I'm like, how far away is Liverpool from here? <laughs> just do the fucking Mick Ferry or Jamie H. Uber to Clivero now. <laughs> <laughs> You'd hire yourself out. Yeah. You could hire yourself out. Like oh, a, a friend in need. Yeah, I'd be a great um, rent a pint. Yeah, rent a pint. Rent a I think pint. That's the way to go. Yeah. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. That's the first Dragon's Den idea. Oh, I'm a yeah. great echo chamber as well. Whatever you believe, I was going, yeah, yeah. How can yeah, I do that as well? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah but how far do you go? The amount of horrible opinions I've been getting, the taxi drivers and all that is. Yeah. Yeah. Taxi drivers, yeah, because it's yeah, easy yeah. life, innit? Like, it oh, is. Fuck. Oh, Too many God, times yeah. in Danny Max, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> it's, the suit. it's all the suits. Um, it's because you want to get home. So you don't yeah, want to, halfway it. through, you get, it kicks you out. Yeah. <laughs> How far would you go, though? What? How far would you go? Right, so it's like gigging, isn't it? This, it's about... How... No, how far would you go with the, the grimness? The oh, so I thought you meant how oh, far is he driver. willing to travel? There's been... <laughs> I thought you were talking, literally talking about rent a pint. I was like, Exeter, but it's got to be a good fit. There's been moments where my mate's quite opinionated and like into politics and all that, and we've been in a taxi, and the taxi driver said something, you know, horrendous. Rather than just like, yeah, whatever, and roll it off, he gets into a debate with him, and I'm, I just hate confrontation, do you know what I mean? Especially when they're behind a wheel of a steel ton ball of fucking death what well, hang on though <laughs> that is that is ca that is <laughs> no, classic catastrophizing isn't it no, no, oh, we don't we don't agree with the taxi driver's views on trans and he's gonna crash the car and yeah, kill us all yeah. vulture off i was uh in his band and he's got a new song out called joy keen so <laughs> plug did you have to do that <laughs> no, <that's laughs> it could be the song gonna... of the week if you want what it could be the song of the week if you want yeah the song of the week yeah, joy keen. bang fuck the ones who would have to get in a... Um, yeah, so I, I don't like racist taxi driver, but I got a new band, <laughs> I don't, <laughs> new album out. I don't like confrontation in that sense. No, in that sense, no. Do, what, what, what would your breaking point be? Where you go, you're out of order, mate. If he went, listen, I got these outfits for the next meeting. Do you want to come around and try one on? <laughs> I think I'd go, do you know what? Just send me to the hotel. No, 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 I'd still go. I'll give you a bell tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Just to get to the hotel. I'm such a pussy, I'd still give them like a four star rating. <laughs> One star off for being an actual fascist. Yeah. Uh, what's your Uber rating, Dan? It's pretty good. Is it? I think it's flawless. 4.95 minus. Is yeah. it? I think, what do you start with? Perfect. Didn't you only recently get Uber? I haven't zero, got it, Dan? I've deleted it. Oh, right. If you haven't had any taxi drive, you haven't got one. I get, well, surely I, get, I start so, at five. You're innocent until proven guilty. So no, five, I'm five stars. I get so many Ubers, man. Check um, it. You might, you might four shock point, Four point think, seven eight. Oh, oh that's mate. Yeah, yeah. Four point, four point eight nine. But I've been, I've been picked up in some state, so. Do you know what I mean? Like so straight, your, top, straight your, off the floor. Four point seven five. Four point nine. How good was that? Uh, me, me and Will had the best Uber yeah. home of all time. Go on. We went out for a pint, ended up in Liverpool, it's like one, two in the morning. It was fucking class. Got an Uber home just having a sing song in the back, weren't we? You got an Uber back from Liverpool to Manchester? Yeah, yeah. Right. And that's a good, is that a good fare for an Uber? That's decent. Split between it? two, it's fine. Right. But it's all right. He's made up, the and, driver. Uh, yeah. And, um, but we just had a mint sing song and a heart to heart. It's just fucking great. Tax driver was racist, but <laughs> <laughs> other than that. Obscene so cheap. I think I ruined Will's Uber rating after that. I think my Uber rating is 4.89, but I think that's because. It's been a couple of times I've got Ubers and put my mate in it, oh, and yeah, I booked yeah, him, yeah. and then I've and then I've looked the next day and it's like, oh, the next week it's gone down. I'm like, what did you do? Yeah, what did you do? And he's like, oh, nothing, nothing. I just said, they go, oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I've had an Uber driver fall asleep. What? When I've been in the car? No. Yeah, I was, he's driving me on from work. Um, he's driving down a main road by mine, <clears throat> and uh, stop at the lights. Lights goes on green. I'm like, fucking me, come on. And I looked and he was like that. And so I kicked his chair. I was like, <laughs> I gave him one. I kicked his chair. And, like, oh. and then he drove. And as we were going down, he started swaying. Mate. And I, I just shout, mate, mate, mate. And he's like, what? And I went, lad, can you just get out? Can I just get out here? And he's like, why? When you fell asleep twice, he went, no, I haven't. I went, you know, I lad, you did. I kicked your chair. And he's like, no. So I texted him and he's like, we're so sorry. And then I'm banned from, he can't get me anymore. And he had to go in for like a medical and stuff after that. Mate. Can you do that? It's Can not a medical problem. He's just working his balls off probably, yeah. isn't he? Yeah, but, but it could be a medical still, problem. It could be a medical problem. It's more likely that he's just... Well, they've changed the rules. Desperately he's only, trying he's to... He's only worked 10 hours, I think. 
This was a couple of the years ago. The shift. You can, only have, you, you can only have your system on for 10 hours. This, he might have done 14 hours because it was Christmas or something. Uh, and he's yeah, goosed. Yeah, yeah. But he's going to kill me. Could you not take it over? Go, I'll take it from here. I thought, what, and Move over. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm the Uber driver now. <laughs> I'll, I'll bring you some... back to you in the morning. <laughs> yeah. After the meeting. You could have fucking killed me. It's like a shit version of Captain Phillips, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm the Uber driver now. <laughs> <laughs> I only gave him four stars. <laughs> Do you reckon he gave me five? I hope he gave me five stars. Did he fuck? He kicked his chair. <laughs> <laughs> I think was it Kim? <laughs> yeah. But he doesn't think he was. And you woke him up. That's rude. <laughs> yeah, he gave you a lower rate because you woke him up. <laughs> How dare you? He woke me up. Yeah. Prick, I got you know what I'm like if I get woken up? Yeah, <laughs> refunded and now we're barred from seeing each other, which you can do. If you text them and go, I don't like this person, you can they can ban you from being able to book each other. Oh, that's I good, didn't know that. that. Yeah. I is there still them. an option to not talk to them? Or is this an American thing no, I've heard about? Uh, no, I've used that. Uber Comfort, it's called. Really? Yeah, you it's can extra, you can extra few on quid, thing. but you can have temperature on cold, don't chat to me. Even the option <laughs> feels cold, though. Do you know what I mean? The, the the option to say I don't want to speak to you because there's no other way, there's no like reason. It, it, it yeah, it feels too. Like, if they had a sub option like "ung over to fuck me," <laughs> <laughs> why? Because you're a pompous Tory cunt, I don't, or you're just I, literally I, having an existential it, crisis and yeah, you can't I, talk. I don't. I'm in my feelings, mate. Sorry. <laughs> it doesn't even say "hung over." It just goes to fuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and then they just know. But it just feels too abrupt. You're I paying think. them yeah, more yeah, to not yeah. talk. That's mad. Yeah, no. I'm sure that 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 gets hot pressed a lot in London. I feel like yeah. in the city where people are like I don't need to do this, that would be so not on brand. If you got in and you'd already pressed the "Don't talk to me" and he's got tickets for your tour, like oh fucking hell, it's Jamie. I, I just want to say I love your comedy, but he's ticked the box. Like, oh, so I'm above it. <laughs> Play the frog six times, leave me be. I love a taxi chat, me. I love ta chatting to taxi drivers on my own. Proper yeah, enjoy it. Yeah, I don't mind it. I don't yeah. mind it. I don't mind it. Dep yeah, it depends in the in the scenario, doesn't it? Although in London they got the opposite where you just you just press the thing, you can talk to me. It's just on it's on constantly, don't talk to me. Oh yeah. And yeah, you have yeah. to press it. Uh, yeah, you can yeah, talk yeah, to yeah, me. Yeah, if you, you want. have to. Yeah. <laughs> if you want. <laughs> I don't I don't I don't, yeah. Yeah. I don't find it comfortable what the when fuck are you on about? <laughs> I don't find it comfortable when they offer me water and stuff like that. No, do you but Matt do you want oh, when, I done a voice there? <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> never do the voice. Do you want a TikTok lab? Do you want water? Do you want to plug your phone in? You're like, no. Nice. I want to get to the fucking boozer. <laughs> what the fuck you? Well, do you want the dig tag? I nearly did that. <laughs> tag, I nearly did that. Just one. It's hard times. Water. But there's like, there's like fucking like... <laughs> water. Bottles of water in like the things and like plug your phone in and all that. I'm like, lad, you're trying too hard. What you doing? I know, woo me, but come on. <laughs> Oh, they say what Comfort radio thing. channel do you want on? Yeah, no, just is that one? Yeah, I, don't oh, I had know. one. The bloke went. He said, he "Goes, do you like Johnny Mathis, this old singer from the seventies?" And I've gone, "No, nah, not really." I had the greatest hits of Johnny Mathis for the entire journey. Oh, you <laughs> like, when you said not really, it's like you, you just went, clearly haven't oh, listened goes, to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you will after this. Gave you the AUX. Put your own music. I on. told you about the one oh, that I had a couple oh, of weeks ago, didn't I? No. The one where he oh, put he John my Moon. whole EP on in front of me and, cri and critiqued it. Wow, oh, that is hilarious. No. Yeah. He, I, fi I finished the gig. <laughs> oh, it's funny. Finished the gig, put the guitar and stuff in the back. He was like, so what's your band called? And a couple of lads got out. We chatted a bit and he was like, so what's it called? I was like, oh yeah, Finley K. And he went, Alexa, play Finley K. I was like, oh no, okay. Oh no. He listened to the whole EP and just critiqued each song. He was like... It's all right, that one. Imagine yeah. if at the end of it went, give me the Tic Tac back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm disgusting. You, you want like, to get out? But like, like, what did he like, say at the end? At the end of it, he went, you know who you sound like? I, I, I was like, oh, I don't know, I don't know. I was a bit pissed at this point. I was like, I don't know. He was like, you sound like Craig David. And we right. laughed. And he fucking does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he got it right. You do sound like Craig David. Yeah, yeah. 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 Wait yeah. until you hear it, your head will fall off. Yeah, it's I've weird. Song with us before. It didn't sound very Craig David. -y. Where is this? Where is this available? <laughs> Spotify. My, on Spotify. My EP. Yeah. yeah Spotify. Wherever you get your music. Ah, oh, that'd be me on the way. I'm ever listening. I you fantasize got... about being able to speak Urdu or something with taxi drivers. Or in, oh, you know, in a shop. Me... Like there was, when we we went into the shop then because I fancy some <laughs> sweeties. Oh yeah. I really wish the I could. They, they, were, they were literally doing like Lebanese or. Gujarati vape boys. I don't know what it, what language it was. That's been Gujarati. 
the other lesbians, <laughs> the young Lebanese <laughs> speaking lesbian. <laughs> they speak a lesbian. But they were like, <laughs> but they just wanted. <laughs> fucking hell! Where, where, Damn. where is that's a yellow card? <laughs> yellow. That is a good lesbian Lebanese joke. That. <laughs> One with the tongue, you're off. With the t- oh come on! Oh wait, I, I kind of get it. I get it. But now, yeah, it's yeah. a yellow card. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're taking all the vapes for for a test, but speaking in good dry. Right, then... FA's gone to shit, mate. <laughs> and then, oh, uh, then every so often you do one English word like pineapple. <laughs> I want him booked as well. I want him booked as well. You get a second yellow for asking for the Come yellow. On, you know the new rules. Come on, mate. He said pineapple in a lesbian Lebanese accent. I Good just, I this just, is supposed to be benefiting my I career, just, not ending it. I want it. I want it. I hear. Do you know when you go in a shop and they're literally like talking on the phone and there's a guy working there and it's a language you don't understand? I'd love just because he's probably going, oh, this bell end. Like I'd love to just be able to speak. Urdu or Punjabi. I would, it's the stupidest reason to spend years learning a language just so I can go, yeah, can I have some Tic Tacs? Yeah, yeah. Cause, well, yeah, because all, shop, give... all shopkeepers speak good dry. <laughs> you... It's an album name, isn't it? <laughs> all no. you wanted to do was say, I know one of the names of the languages. Good dry, yeah, yeah. I'd love to be polyglot, that is. Multiple languages. That'd be my one superpower. It's a video. There's um, there's a guy who does it, and I yeah, think it's, it's American. Chinese where he goes, where he goes to speak, speak to he's just an, he's just on a Maasai tribe, taken out to a really uh, remote part of Western Kenya, and he spent a month, and he's really adept at it. He spent in a month learning their dialect, which is very there's it's like literally their tribe. It's really unknown. Gets out of the. They know that someone's coming from America, a journalist. And then he starts talking in their language. And it's such a weird feeling when you're watching it. Cause like, you know how Adam always talks about, he puts himself in the position of like the, the, the lead character in your head. You're like, yeah, I did learn that language. Even though it's that guy doing it. He it's looks... unbelievable. Their heads fall off. Have you seen them, Rich? No. So it's this no. guy, he's a, <clears throat> he's, is he a journalist at his job? No, it's, it, he's just, uh, he's just, I don't like know a what he's doing. He's, he's a so he, freelance he, YouTuber, he but he's learns, so good at like, He doesn't just learn language, he learns dialect and he learns like pronunciation. So we go, he'll go to like some small town in China, yeah. go into a Chinese restaurant and then order in English and they're all laughing. I'm going, oh, look at this. But then speak their language to perfection. Wow. And they're all like, what the fuck? Because yeah. they're talking about it. I'm going, look at this knobhead and you can understand them. <laughs> so it's like someone coming to where you're born yeah. and all the little mannerisms. Oh, they speak to him and you're like, what the? And everyone's So in New York, he just goes, that. you know, like that. every nationality is represented in New York. So he goes to like Chinatown, but he also learned like a bit of Swahili, wow. which is just, again, so obscure. Knows that the shop is owned by like, it's like people who speak Swahili and just to go in and be like, oh yeah, cool. How much is that in Swahili? Yeah, Why that. do I want? I want that so well, much. I, that. I, asked, I asked for the bill in Italy, and the waiters applauded me because I was pissed. <laughs> and they went, "Oh, you want the bill?" I went, "No, I've been learning this," and stood up and made a big deal of it and said the Italian for bill. And the the waiters was it? Was it sarcastic? Oh, was okay, it that I'm slow? <laughs> <laughs> yes. What was it? Bello. I clapped over it. What I've been learning it, boy. It's gone though. I can't remember. But, yeah. I like the bit in John Wick in the first one where the guy's looking at his car in the petrol station and he's going, nice car. And he goes, yeah, he goes, yeah, he goes how much? He goes, oh, it's not for sale. And then he turns around and says something in Russian, calls him a bitch in Russian. And John Wick comes back with in Russian. And the guy goes like, there's that moment where he understands, yeah. he goes, he understood what I said. Yeah, that's and such that, a sick superpower. That's it, wouldn't it? That would be yeah. beautiful. I'd love that. I went, I went back to this uh, uh, Polish lady's house when I was 19. She was in her 40s. We had a bit of a summer fling. And when I first went back to her flat. <laughs> what? <laughs> Full summer. <laughs> How does a summer fling start with a 40s <laughs> Polish woman? <clears throat> what? How does that start? Uh, met with an AXM. What's that? Gay club. <laughs> um... <laughs> I mean, we're, we're in a, we're in a house. It could have been worse though, couldn't it? Could have been worse. What? You go clubbing in a gay club and you end up with having a summer affair with a, a Polish lady. Yeah, yeah. Could have been like <laughs> yeah. some bloke called Jeff. <laughs> could have been. Why would that be worse? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's wrong with Jeff? That's a good point. <laughs> Jeff Lewandowski. <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> uh, and her friend uh, i assume is also polish eastern european certainly and they had one of them they had an argument in their native tongue 
And every so often, the fat mate would point at me, <laughs> angry, so I know they're sagging me off, but I don't understand what. <laughs> I'd love to go back in time and learn Polish. You go, no, you're the slag. <laughs> <laughs> you tried to ask for the bill in Italian. <laughs> No, you're a slug. <laughs> <shit. laughs> that's all you've learned. That's it. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> was she a lesbian, like Polish lady that was in a gay club and thought you were a lesbian? She's like, no, no, he's Lebanese. <laughs> <laughs> and then he did the voice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was just uh, 2010, man. That was diff- oh, sorry, <laughs> different time. Yeah, right? AXM- it was a World Cup on. Things were crazy. AXM is just one of those places you went to Chabula- uh, everywhere. Chabula- South Chabula- Africa. Chabula- uh, yeah. You've been in, haven't you? You well, must have been in AXM. Yeah, 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 yeah. So they had a tuck shop in where you could buy your poppers and that. Right. And just like sweet. So you could have a toffee crisp and some poppers. It was fucking sick. Nice. <laughs> what? what a night That's out. the way what? it goes, isn't it? It's unreal. Wow. What a yeah, weird place to keep a toffee crisp. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't be crisp anymore with it <laughs> toffee like moist Ooh. yeah <laughs> you don't moist. want to combine the toffee yeah. soft <laughs> poppers to relax oh, soft, yes. oh I haven't got Flimsa. any pockets <laughs> toffee flimsy Johnson <laughs> toffee <Nice>. flimsy <laughs> that's a word. is that the opposite of crisp being flimsy uh, uh, nougat <laughs> toffee nougat just get a nougat <laughs> can you google what the uh, antonym of uh, crispy is, please. Melted. Um, yeah, so it's it, yeah. a wonderful gaff. I love these places. Yeah. So they're open to late and dingy and soggy, like, uh, soggy, crisp. <laughs> soggy. Crisp. Carry on. No, toffee, toffee, soggy. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh. toffee, soggy. Toffee, soggy. Toffee, soggy. Carry on. Toffee, soggy. <laughs> we, we used to go to Essentials, which is one of them, innit? AXM. Know, AXM's the goat for me. Man. Oh, right, okay. Me and Adam used to go to heaven every week. <laughs> what did you do, babe? <laughs> Add coronas and dance with the gays. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Very progressive there, Cal. <laughs> well, so- yeah, no, we're sound with them. We, we have coronas, dance with them. One of them touched me left once and Josh nearly battered them. Because when I was a, when I was a, a young man, um, homosexual men used to really like me. Now they love you. No, but like, they, like do a bit. I even said, like, like, what's going on here? They used to be all over me. Don't know what it was. I looked quite twinky, I think. It's probably because they knew you were straight as well. There's an element. I remember working in a tell. gay sauna and I had a, bit, I had a lot of attention. You worked in a gay sauna? I worked in a gay sauna for yeah, a Yeah, Rich, that will get your Don't attention. Don't do it. <laughs> yeah. Listen. Met a lot involved. of Polish ladies that, that summer. <laughs> but I had, my mate got me the job and then he was going. He was what going, was your going reception? The, I was on the, just on the door, like buzzing people in. So I'm like, you know what this is? And they go, yeah. Um. And then they come in and then I go, right. But then I had to leave because they started to twig that I wasn't gay because I wasn't joining in. Everyone else at work there was getting bollocked for like, leaving the front door and un- un- unattended and all that. Well. They're all upstairs joining in and I'm downstairs like, just by the door. They're like, nope, it's fine. I'm, I don't need to go You anywhere. lost your job for being good at your job. I left. <laughs> oh. Because <laughs> they were getting, I was like, I just need to go because it's getting. Was you never weird. tempted? Um, you know, I, there's stuff happened, but I, you know. Did, you, time, have a, did you have a look? Oh, I saw some fucking things, man. I saw some things. Things that. It's a matter, Vietnam like, veteran because of a part time yeah. job. Regardless of, regardless of sexuality, regardless of gender, two people having sex next to you live is weird. Doesn't matter what, yeah. doesn't matter what kind of human they are, when they're having sex, it's just, and you just, like it sounds that. like one of Jamie's stories and from his house. I've, yeah. I've, I've, I've been <laughs> in bed. Christmas and Poppers. I've been in bed while someone's shagged next to me in the same bed. It's weird, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Because you sort of like, you know, like, uh, all right. I got wanked off by a bloke once. Well, lad. <laughs> Make oh, sure so- that's in the trailer at the start. One <laughs> <laughs> job for yeah. I was uh, <laughs> did was this, you was this at CEX? Uh, no, it was at CEX. Or wherever yeah. it's called. Oh, I mean, Nintendo or a wank lad, please. I can <laughs> How much for what did you say? Is that, is that CEX? The, is the CEX. Shop, CEX. How much for this PlayStation? Who hasn't <laughs> been wanked off at a CEX? <laughs> How much she giving me for this? Golf shop, you got spray paint all over it. <laughs> Ten quid in the wake, mate. Yeah, I was just uh, asleep on a couch. And, um, <laughs> and he had his hand on my crotch and I woke up, like, bleary eyes. went, oh, what are you doing, mate? And then I went, oh, sorry, sorry. And then I went back to sleep and I thought, fucking hell. Missed that hand. <laughs> <laughs> so I got his hand and put it back on. Yes, mate. That's then, the way. And then I started yeah. to get hard and I thought, I might just experiment here. Yeah. So then... I was bulging out my jeans. He put his hands 
on my crotch through my boxers, then went into my boxers, started wanking it off, and he had such a velvet stroke. No. <laughs> oh, oh, that's a lie. I swear to God. This is why we're here. This is amazing. I swear to God. I still got him on Facebook. And, uh, <laughs> Just in case. And he's like, no, because I, I messaged him once, like, a year later, asking if you up. <laughs> Yes, mate. <laughs> I fucking uh, love this. Yes. He, he, uh, he started to kiss down my chest and then I pussied out because he was going to suck me off. So I just went, no, no, no. There's when no that, middle though. ground <laughs> with you, is there? <laughs> playing fucking dice and getting all the printed paper out, playing Ty Boldo, all getting wanked <laughs> off by men. <laughs> Fuck I'm, me, you needed a Super thing Nintendo. Is when you're on that, when it's that early in the morning. It wasn't like vigorous it was just like it was play, oh, yeah, it playful was touching and playful touching and then oh, yeah. hand on cock and it was more where was this a at a party was like an after yeah but like yeah, two yeah. days in it was like oh jesus oh, yeah. oh when you're at that point anyone and if anyone to touch it if the dog yeah, past Joe, it, and you <laughs> you're so <laughs> velvet touch yeah. <laughs> uh yeah it's like you're, you're so ungover and stuff and and Blair it and that first come after a session is unbelievable. Oh, did you, God, did yeah. you come? No. Right. Home, That's why he messaged him a year later. <laughs> <laughs> unfinished, right. bit, unfinished business. Already. Yeah, so I was fucking sweated again. Because he had such a velvet touch. <laughs> this is great. Now, what are you doing? <laughs> Love this. What are you up to? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I was 19, 20. Experimenting with myself, exploring myself. I think it's good to experiment. No, it's not wrong with it, but it's just yeah. an odd way of doing it. What, getting assaulted and then go, yeah, go on. Yeah. Actually. Yeah. 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 Going after him. Actually, mate. Yeah. I was wrong. Finish. I was wrong. Finish the job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This isn't half a job, Harry. Come back oh, here. I'll taste me toffee slopper. <laughs> oh, you're halfway through. You're hungry, mate. You're hungry. Pulls out of his ass. Yeah. Soggy crisp. Yeah, yeah. You got anything to eat? Funnily enough. Toffee soggy. Soggy crisp. <laughs> Oh, fucking hell. How long did you work at the sauna for? I wasn't, I wasn't there long. Six, did anyone come up and not know what it was? You, you, your yeah, job yeah. was like, do you know what this is? Yeah, because it right. was just a door in the side of a building. So there was no windows. Like You couldn't see into it. And it was no, there was a sign saying what it, what it was called. You couldn't see what it was. So guy, like, there was his, I remember there was his, um, these Irish builders and they turned up and they were banging on the thing. And they go, hey, 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 we want to come in. And I'm like, all right, all right. I went, you know what this is? And they went, yeah. I went, all right. And they went, yeah, we always come in here. And they just, they've, they've got wives and that, but they're away working. And he just, yeah, we always come down here, get, we get sucked off and we go home. <laughs> so I buzzed them in. a little giggle up. They went home. <laughs> it's just because that's how they said it in their Irish accent. Yeah, we come down, we get sucked off and we go home. And I was like, are they illegal? All right. Steve, what's it called? A sauna? Gay sauna? Gay sauna. There's, well, there there's loads in town. Are they yeah, illegal though? Or? No, not no, they're not. Well, they're builders, they're saunas. They're not, they're not like, Sex. Knocking jobs, but it's yeah, like, sex happens in them, but wink, wink. that's not what it's there for. Wank, it's wank. like it's like a health club. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You go down yeah. there, you have a sauna, <laughs> you have a chat with Check. the lads. <laughs> Scanning. Yeah, I, he said wink, wink. I said wank, wank. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it's a sort just... of like it's one of them things where everyone's like, fair enough. Yeah, it's it's all consenting adults. Things happen. Let's not. Send Did anybody health and safety down there? Not knowing what it was, and then you went. Um, and they were like, oh, then yeah. I mean, no, everybody pretty much knew what it was. <laughs> <laughs> Is this the candy shop? <laughs> I've got me poppers already. What? I, um, yeah, there, was, there wasn't anyone, everyone, it wasn't kind, because it was just this door. That, you knew what it was. You knew what yeah, it was. You, yeah. There was yeah, no, lot, there, nothing that said sauna. There was nothing like. There's a lot of that going on though, isn't it? Because like brothels are illegal. There's because it's, it's sex, isn't it? Sex, but in, yeah, but, they, sell, yeah. It, but they're they're allowed to to run. Like it's it's like a law that hasn't been passed, but the police or the local authorities know they're there, and it's just a sort of controlled ignoring, isn't it? No, yeah. Shangri La's used to always get um, yeah because it's probably like trafficking. Them, if it's trafficking, then yeah, 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 it's different maybe, to yeah. the. But they they'd rather because people are always going to be sex workers. Like that the old cliche is, it's oldest the oldest job. Yeah, old, oldest job, job, isn't it? So oh. it'll always happen, drop. <laughs> <laughs> it's the, the oldest Didier Drogba. And Didier Drogba's now a sex worker. Big game player. <laughs> yeah. Fuck it up. You would be upset, wouldn't you, if you went to a brothel and Didier was the only wow. last there. I get a picture oh, with what's wrong with that? <laughs> Who hasn't been wanked off by Didier Drogba at a party? Who scored eight goals in nine finals, mate? I'd have yeah. a chat with him. Oh, yeah. 
What a player. Um, it's a weird one that they're just like, yeah, it's there, but they're, yeah. safe, they're safer there than... You I've don't want Didier it, yeah. Drogba on the street, do you? <laughs> no. <laughs> Classic, a stupid conversation. <laughs> we're, we're potentially having a serious conversation and you're like, no, just keep putting Didier Drogba in it. <laughs> the hell in the street with Didier Drogba in the sheets, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. No following it. Let's have a break. Hello, everyone. I'm here with my new podcast partner, Freddie Quinn, to tell you that this episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. BetterHelp? What are they? <laughs> well, Freddie, <laughs> you are playing this role beautifully. <laughs> it's just a way of finding online counseling. You go on, you put in what you're looking for, what you've been suffering with, whether it's anxiety. In my case, it was addiction issues. And they have counselors and therapists that are specifically suited to what you're looking for, you get attributed to them. You don't have to go into an office. They don't have to come to you. My counselor had to come to me and sit in the garden office. It's just a bit grim sometimes arranging it. You get to do it on Zoom, on a laptop. It's just a really good way of sorting out your mental health. And I think you'll agree, there should be no more stigma about men's mental health, eh? Absolutely not. If you're, if, if you're having girl problems, I feel bad for you, son. I got 99 problems. And thanks to BetterHelp, they're all slightly more manageable. <laughs> As Jay Z said, I think that is a that is yeah. Rick Rubens actually asked him to change it at the end, but it was very similar. Uh, let therapy be your map with better help. Visit betterhelp.com slash word ten today to get ten percent off your first month. That's better help h e l p dot com slash word ten. Very well done. I like that. Aren't you good? Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> Part four. Part, Part four of four. Yeah. Quattro e quattro. Um, Rich. Hello. Tell us where your new special's out. So it's on ITVX and uh, it's called You Can Have It So Much Better. And uh, it's my Edinburgh show from last year. Well, it's like a, it's my Edinburgh, Edinburgh show from last year, but it's also like like best of. I whacked all the best stuff in it. And it, uh, it comes, I was obsessed weirdly with the second album by Franz Ferdinand in the lockdowns. And uh, then the show just came from that. And my mate gave me a jacket from one of their videos. He used to dress bands. And he gave me this jacket and it just got, came from that. So this whole show is like, I wear this jacket that's way too small. Franz Ferdinand lads are tiny. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm a lump and I wore this. Fucking great band. <laughs> was it an evening show or a matinee? Hello, mate. Hello, mate. Oh, there you I go. do. I thought that was good. There you go. Franz Ferdinand song. Carl loved it. <laughs> <laughs> Are you on tour as well? So I'm doing that. That's that's available now. Uh, off the back of that, hopefully next year. Yeah, booking some dates. Where can it's we find you? Off. We usually do this at the end, but we'll do it now. Where can just we find everywhere. you? Everywhere. I'll be everywhere. I'll be. I'm just aiming to go everywhere. I've got a baby on the way, so I've got to do this. Oh, man's it's having a baby. Work. Yeah. Um, baby June, December. I'm on tour this week. It starts this week, Thursday Whoa! the 31st. Woo! 15 sellout shows. I tell you where we could do with some sales. Listen up if you live near here. Nantwich, Middlesbrough's ticking up. It's not sold out yet. Salford, Shrewsbury, Oxford. I've sold 80 tickets. That's good. Yeah. Adam's Oxford one last year was the egg. Right. I don't want it to be the egg. So Oxford, fucking turn up from the Oxfordshire. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like, is it going to be? There's loads of locals. Is it the same room as Adams? Yeah, the it's, Glee. It's going to be great. <laughs> it's good. Um, uh, Leicester, Warwick, some more tickets in Brighton, Cardiff, Sheffield, Belfast, and Dublin. I need the Irish lids out. Skipton, Sale, and the the last show is Liverpool at the Phil. There's loads of sold out shows. Those are some that could do with a little kick in the fucking balls. Uh, Jamie, oh, damnightingale.com. I can't wait. I'm so happy to be back on tour and I'm not doing it again for three years. So I am looking forward to it, but I'm also looking forward to the break. Just not doing it. Yeah. 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 Jamie, what about you, mate? My debut tour. Whoa. Um, 7,000 tickets now. Um, well done, we mate. need more. Um, <laughs> I start on the 20th of September at the Frog and Bucket. There's still some tickets left for that. I need help in Northampton. Um, an ill-advised booking, but we'll, uh, we'll have a laugh. So come down to Northampton, especially if you have a large family or 80 friends. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, literally. So our, we've got Tony Coma doing our tour. And like, is it Tuesday that she sends you the sales updates? Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, fuck me, flying, flying. Oh, it's so good. Warwick. 
Yeah, and I also could do the pushing card if it's just a big room. Um, it's, it'll be a mint gig anyway. It's a great room. So, uh, Cardiff, all tickets at jamehcomedy.com. Please. Congrats, nice. Musseltoff, my friend. Thank you. It's very exciting. Yeah. Now, really first. No, it's not his first. <laughs> because oh. The reason I've come back to this is because <laughs> it, when I was doing Dan Nighty Girls in the House fucking ages Amazing ago. Amazing podcast. Did you enjoy it? I oh, love yeah. that pod. Uh, I came around. Yeah. Was, was it before you ever did a pod? Yeah. Because yeah, was... Insane in the Membrane is flying, isn't it? it Your is, podcast yeah. now. That was later on. But. I think I was one of the first pe people to go, you know what, I'm going to try and do a podcast just talking to comedy yeah. mates. And the whole thing was I went round to people's houses, basically. And I was in London, and in one day I did Julian Dean. That's it. And then came round to yours. You used to live Crouch like- End, North London. No, it was when you lived oh, near Charlton. Oh, I was in South, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so I was still married then. And, and yeah, and your son came in and he was, I would guess, 19, 20 years old <laughs> then. <laughs> So I yeah. would guess that your son is 27, 28 years old 31. now. 31. Oh my what God. What the fuck? That's yeah. a big age gap. Uh, that wow. is. Uh, he's 31. I've got another one, Bailey. They're, they've got the same mum. Uh, he's 26. And yeah, I was out <laughs> the woods. I was doing, I was like, yeah, that's me. Can Dan. I ask how old you are, Rich? 51. Well done, lad. Rich, you know it's I mean? amazing. Like, I want to be a granddad, <laughs> but my 31 year old's just not cracking on. I know what I'll do. I'll have another kid. <laughs> It's a fucking I'm beautiful now. move. I'm ready now. I've done all. The, I've done all the gear. I've done all the going out. There isn't. Any, I was. I was a dad in the early nineties. There was a lot of distractions. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's the nineties. You know. So I mean, I've got a really good relationship with my two lads. They're both. They're both amazing boys. I'm really good mates with their mum. And yeah, I was never going to do it again. And then uh, I met my my now wife, and we had a chat, and we were like, look. If it happens, it happens. Because she was like, I don't want it to not be on the table. But, you know, let's, we won't have to try. Let's see what we do. And we had this filthy night. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And the night, the day after, I was being on the come down. Conceived uh, in kink. Mate, honestly, I don't even want to go into it. But, <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's going to see this when he's grown up. <laughs> <laughs> Bodhi, so sorry, mate. So we're talking to the sauna. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was, Jamie was there getting wanked off by his mate. Never but the Irish him. lads were really accommodating. <laughs> yeah. So have encouraging. Have you got a name sort of? Yeah, just... Bodie. How, how, when did you? Yeah, yeah, December. December. Is that is that a thing to decide that early? I always thought like we, yeah. I think there's so many, there's so many different I think a lot of girls things. dream about it from like oh, yeah. for years. Was that, did you like... both decide on that? Yeah. 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 We were it was gonna be River if it was a girl, and then we we went to have the scam where you find out. And the nurse had the, the scanner on the, on uh, my lovely wife Kate's belly, and then she's going, "Can't really see the, the baby's in a funny position." And then as the thing went across like that, it was like he, it was like he rolled around and you just see this massive dong. Oh. <laughs> like, you couldn't go. You're like, oh, I'm not sure. You're like, that's a, that's a look at that. That's a lad. That. Look at that. Look <laughs> look at that. That is all right. That. Yeah. When good. we scanned for my son, it took longer. Oh. <laughs> So it's, it's me having a small dick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah we got it. We just felt bad. <laughs> I've seen the... your son's dick loads. Now. Wow. <laughs> well, because he's he's not even on Sunday. Just before that, because <laughs> he's a, obviously embarrassment and shame. It's so un it's not born into you. Oh, no. Jack! It's absolutely. Yeah, got to yeah, it. it was yeah. a sunny afternoon. He was just running around the gut. We were playing footy with him, and he was just head to toe bollock <laughs> naked. Didn't give a fuck. Sitting there on the there phone. Was, just there like, was one point when he got a little overdone, and he he sort of had a towel on. Carl was where <laughs> was where Jamie is now, and it was like he was going, "What are you going to do about it, lad? <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do about this?" <laughs> At one point, like Laura even went, "Put that towel over," and he was like, "Nah, fuck it, my house, <laughs> my <laughs> garden, my house, my <laughs> rooms." <laughs> uh, he looked. He was like the happy. He was so free, wasn't he? Just playing for it. It was so funny. I'd love that to go back to that to just be able to just. I don't. I'm not a nudist, but just to not have to worry about. Yeah, no shame. If you're in your own house as well, just wondering. I, mind you, I know people with mums and dads do that. I told you, I do it. Do you? I'm naked in my house. I'm naked a lot. When people come over? No. Oh, I'm just I, wandering around. If, if I'm in the house on my own, yeah. I'm I mean, if Seneca's there too, I'm naked. I'm just naked. <laughs> naked or dressing gown. He was naked at my house as well. He felt comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, well, Jack's got his dick out. Why can't I? <laughs> <laughs> just these weird impressions on the sofa. Carl's got, a, <laughs> Carl's got a rule that if it's in his own house that he can do absolutely anything he wants and we haven't fact of life. we haven't think, had yeah. an official judgment on this but i feel it's almost like a rorschach test like how, what 
What do you, if you walk past Carl's house, it windows up, window, like look, everything man. open and Carl's just in the, I'm sure that's illegal. It is illegal. No, you, I'm sat on the, if I'm sat on the couch naked, which I am, I'll have a, a blanket on or right. whatever. And if I stand up, I'll make sure I'm not like flashing the window. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But if someone looks at my house and sees it's, me You naked, can get done for indecent exposure. In your own yeah, house. Yeah, in your own house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've heard. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> this is one time at band camp. Like, if I open the door naked, yeah. But if I'm in my yeah. fucking gaff, don't look. If I'm in my garden, fuck off. I'm naked in front of my mates <laughs> if they come round for a brew or something. Just whatever. Sorry, yeah, Shit, we've all got dick. <laughs> you get naked. <laughs> I'm just now I know this. Naked, right, yeah. Now I'm I change for you. Yeah. Now I know this. Like, if I was to go to your house. Uh, now I'm aware, I'd be like, yeah, well, that's what he does. I'm going, he's invited me to his house. No, I would make sure that was I was dressed, Rich. Don't worry. I'd be like, yeah, fuck off. I'm not coming around now. I don't invite people around and be naked. <laughs> oh, I see. You know, but if I'm, <laughs> if I'm on my own in the house, I'm like, I don't want to wear fucking jeans. <laughs> so dick out is the only other option. <laughs> Do you know how Freeman is? Do you know how is? Oh, to make toast so... with your cock out. Yeah, if I'm making food, I don't have me knob out. No, I do. There's oh, a rule. No. <laughs> <laughs> you can't you can't do steak with your dick out. No, you can't eat and spit. Oh no, my god, I've spit. No, not that spit. Yeah. I have a popper, that's spit. <laughs> Fact. <laughs> <laughs> I love ask, I can't wait for you to get done. How can I get done? Decent exposure. Did after I've got uh, um thingy shutters things? Oh yeah, You'd yeah. You'd have to like properly like, come up to me. Oh yeah, if you're like looking. spying through your yeah. things. My neighbor, yeah. my neighbors have seen me ask a few times brewing up in the morning. Because I just come down naked. I need. I have a coffee in the morning just to start my day. And my curtains only go yay high because I broke the string thing. So, <laughs> yeah, like a little yeah. peering through and they often just see me on his hat again. <laughs> I remember what? years and years ago and I was with the mother of my kids. So this is back in the 90s. And we were moving house. And my the mother of my kids used to have like bracelets, like metal bracelets. And they were always clanking. You could hear her clanking about. So I'm in the bathroom and I was doing whatever I'm doing, and then I heard this clanking, and I've come running out of the bathroom, and going like, ah, I mean, not about, and it was her uncle Colin with keys. <laughs> <laughs> and he didn't punch he just goes, all right, Richard. Went, yeah, 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 good, man. Yeah, yeah, I thought you were Lisa. I thought you were Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's nice. uh, your house, your rules. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just, we need some, we need Jack, some legal advice. Jack, did buy the jacket away with it? Because he's two and a half. So? Right, cool. I'll, I'll ring the police. <laughs> <laughs> on Jack. Hey, something's bothering my two year old on the sex offenders register. Nice one. <laughs> simple. Can I do explain? some simple pleasures? Okay. If you agree, we'll give him a nice little well done. Just those, it can't be like, you know, when you win the lottery. Yeah. You know? yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, what a date. The birth of your second child. <laughs> 31 uh, year age yeah. difference. And people do that weird thing. It's not a weird thing. They just, they, they go, oh, congratulations. And then they're shaking their head at the same time. Mm. They go like, oh, congratulations. You fucking idiot. Oh. No, you've got <laughs> fucking loads of babysitting options. I'd love you to I be my dad, wait, you know. I'll be your dad. Got great, great yeah, you vibe. Do you know what? Yeah. I'm at that age now. Vibe. Are you I'm, adopting? Yeah, fine. Oh, imagine, yeah, you and I'm your mate one. come round. <laughs> you can wake each other up all you like. I'll make the tea. God, you're so good like that. I um, That's the thing. I'm at that age. I'm getting to that age now where people would think it's cute if I was to date their mums. Do you know what I mean? It's not like they go, oh, look at those two. Oh, I honestly nice. wouldn't mind it whatsoever if I came on when you were there. See? Not one. It's bit. that. It's, that, it's that, oh, look, yeah, mum needs company since dad passed. I'm it's not, that. I'm at that age. <laughs> You're that, getting on that widow yeah, puss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just hanging around at the funeral, seeing who's, who's crying the most. Yeah. And you've got that dog in you, you know, I, I know you'd satisfy my mum, which is Mate. You know, needed. I'd smash it. Then. <laughs> <laughs> I want to have a good time. I don't, the thing I is don't about my mum, I love her, you know, but she's but, a dog. But she it. needs a good. Oh, um, yeah, my mum needs scenes. Simple, simple pleasure when uh, Rich Wilson sees to your mum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Anyone watching, you need me to sort your mum out. I'll be mad. Uh, Fraser McNair says, Wag Wag Boys, simple pleasure remembering you have a toasty maker and then only oh, eating yeah. toasties yeah. for the next three oh, days. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Classic. Good Classic. Boy. Yeah. Mate, I didn't even realise we had a George Foreman grill. What? I've totally missed that. Like, it's obviously been a while. Yeah. Or I was like, I'm going to make toasties on the George Foreman grill, which has got the single ridge going one way. Laura uh... toasted it for a little bit, flipped it, cross 
cross little oh. grid on it. Oh, it was a beautiful nice. fucking toast pitch. pitch. Nice. Yeah, that's exactly what yeah. I said. It, it, that groundsman got head on it. Yeah, the last one, yeah. yeah. Where did he's he go? In, yeah. City, I think. Saudi Arabia, no? <laughs> <laughs> he's on 273 million. <laughs> Classic. Oh, wow. Saudis. Football's gone, hasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> football's gone this is my favourite thing alone. football's fucking gone isn't it <laughs> football's fucking gone Andy Carroll's on 22 million a week I just remembered I had a to I've got a toaster maker so I'm going to have a toasty later thank you whoever sent that when you it find was the Fraser the McNair thank you when you Fraser find McNair. the toasty maker when you're having a proper come down Sunday oh, that's the best and you're yeah. like have we got cheese have we got cheese beans cheese and ham bit of onion cheese and ham hungry, uh, beans oh god oh, sausage yeah <laughs> Like, oh, steak. Yeah, steak in there. Nutella. Oh, no. Nutella. That's a good one. Uh, toffee flimsy. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call it? Toffee, toffee, toffee flimsy. <laughs> toffee flimsy. Uh, Andy says, got a simple pleasure for you. <laughs> Passing pass a toffee flimsy. Passing. Between <laughs> 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 bum cheeks. Is that going on the merch now? That's funny, man. Toffee flimsy. Big night last night. <laughs> uh, passing a football ground when you're on a train, doesn't care what level it is, seeing any kind of stands yeah. and sets of goals give me, gives me a little bit of joy. Like you yeah. pass, uh, I think you pass Walsall and uh, Villa Park on the way to Birmingham. Oh, the simple right. one when you're with your mates and you know what it is. You're like, oh, that's there. And it is. Yeah. You go, so, I, oh. I think that's, that's Stockport. That. If you can go into Euston Station without going... Wembley. Wembley, yeah. Is there something wrong with you? Yeah. You've, it's part of the... <laughs> you wait it's literally, for it. <laughs> just before you stand up and get your get your bags, you no, go... No, it's about, it's about eight minutes. Yeah, it's about ten minutes. On the left as you're coming yeah. in, you're like, oh, yeah, and it looks sick, doesn't it? Do you just know, um, similar ilk to this is if you're in the pub and you're having like a footy question or whatever, like top 50 French scorers, someone says one that you've completely at left your head and someone else, oh, what about a Nelk? And you go, fucking Nelka, yeah. No, he's just, a, no, I'd say David Bellion. It fits like a glove. David Bellion. Do you know what I mean? That sort of thing. Yeah, do you remember in a football that you just forgotten? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But in, in under the it's pretense of a trivia scenario. You, you get the one that no one can get. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Seymour says, simple pleasure, cleanly tearing off a large toenail. Oh my God, oh my. chewing on it. Ah, what? mate, come on, man. Oh, my God. What you I, do, ah, dude. if you get one and then another one and you put them on your lip, so you don't chew it, but you put it on your lip like that and it acts like a little lip guard. You shouldn't be allowed to have feet, mate. You're a dirty like, boy. You should be awesome. <laughs> You're a really dirty bitch. Like, I, I got a mate and I was sitting there watching oh, the telly with him. Feet, and uh, <laughs> I was I was upstairs at his house in Manchester and he was just sat watching the telly. And then picking the dead skin off his feet oh and put it in his mouth. God. Oh, yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And it's made me feel weird ever since. No, I've not said anything. Yeah, it's He's yeah. watching this. I saw you. I saw you. and skin. I went to uni with a guy <laughs> called Al who had a, a skin disorder on his feet. It just, it just went dead like a fucking, like an elephant's like snake. Hoof. And he used to cut it off with a knife. Oh, mate. Bruh. In the living room. Shout out, Al. He was a fucking great housemate, actually. He was a good lad. But it, it was gross. And because he cause he hated it, 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 it but he yeah. was like, I live here. What, what are my men doing? And you're like, just not in the living room. Just wait till I'm he, not he here. Could, he could literally cut the corners off, like his the sole of his foot, because the, the skin was all white and dead. And just like you sat there like trying to watch. peeling a coconut. Oh, oh, did you ever do that? When you put, nasty. Did you ever do that? Pritch stick your arm and wait, wait, go dry and then just oh, yeah. peel it off. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was great, that. I should love doing that. I'll do that anyway. I've got psoriasis. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a simple pleasure, by the way. I was watching a film the other day. Do you know what I love? When a film ends and then it gives you the text and it ties all the story up. Do you know, yeah, like the yeah. film ends? It was like, it, they went on to get, story as well. Oh, yeah. Like a biography. Yeah. It's almost like an old. Like an older thing, I isn't it? I love it. It's like, yeah, they stay together for 30 years and like you, you see all, and you're like, oh, no, well, everything that's happened, it's all done. And you like it all yeah, tied that. off. It's the opposite yeah. of a cliffhanger. Yeah. You find Cliff everything dropper. out, especially if it's a true story. And like this happened in real life. These are the pictures of the real people that happened to. Yeah, I yeah. love that. Yeah, that's love a great that. shout. Great love shout. That. Remember the Titans? Is that one of them? <sighs> Remember the Titans? Amazing. Love About it. the first black coach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's um, not the. It, it is, isn't it? Uh, Shane Gillis has, has got a bit about it in a, in his special live from Austin. It's basically the the film is exactly what happened at Alabama football, where they were like, "Where's well, all the white bars? All the white bars?" And then LA came, all the, like Southern California came with all these black athletes and absolutely 
yeah. like hump them. And then the next day, Bear, Bear Bryant or whatever, the coach was like, come on now. <laughs> and then they got black plays on the thing. And like, like, literally, that's all it took. Yeah. There's a, he was like, there's a film about it. Remember the Titans? It Great was like film. years and years, <laughs> hundreds of years of like, we don't trust them. Yeah, it's yeah, football yeah. for white boys. And then like one football season, they're like, these are my brothers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just because the high school football team was winning. Yeah, it's a great film. Great is that film. Uh, Denzel? Yes, D Disney as well. Oh, it's Disney Denzel. <laughs> <laughs> Disney Washington. <laughs> Disney. <laughs> um, Dan W says, simple pleasure. I think we might have had this one, but it's like an all timer, isn't it? Peeling that protector off that new thing you just got. That sort of the phone the, the, screen protector. Oh, oh like off your laptop. I hate yeah. the people who leave it on. I don't know why what are you doing yeah. that for? I right. peel off the second. It keeps it safe. Well, people That's do that. With, they did it with butter, and they leave the they leave the, the bit of paper on under the I lid. I do that. Do you? I don't know why, but I I put it back into the top of the lid. Yeah. People, when I take it off, and then when I put it back, it goes back again. Really? I don't know. Yeah, I do. do yeah, that. people who yeah. used to say don't you can't play as a because it'll scratch me ball. Oh, like don't put it on the concrete. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, that's right. Though. Oh, I remember nah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you go on the if you go into the park, don't bounce it because it's the new good one. Yeah, but with street ballers, man. <laughs> <laughs> I used to love those balls that were like leather, like had been leather, but they're just so scuffed up yeah. and oh, just oh, the white. Little hexagons. Yeah, and you can oh, peel them God. off and yeah. see the rubber, oh, yeah. and then you take the whole thing out, and it'd be like a big fucking absolute big favela got, ball. Like, yeah. mate, we got banned from school at school for taking them in because when it would rain. And they'd soak oh, up all the rain. Oh, and then yeah. you'd see kids going in after after lunch with just half a football shaped yeah. mud on their face. We were just booting it at them. A case ball, that's the old person. Casey, yeah. Get your case ball. A case ball, yeah. Uh, Aaron Scott Roberts says, a uh, simple pleasure, overtaking someone in the lanes in a drive through Oh my God. The I Mackies. Don't, don't drive. I, so what I'll do is I'll, I'll pull up to the Mackies and it's one of them two lane ones that merges into one. I don't like going into the right because you you got to do a turn that's too tight. And oh, I'm going yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna to curve my wheels. So I want to go in the left. But if I can manage to get past two cars going in the left, I won't let them in. Fuck them. I'm one of them. I, I, hate, like, I hate me, but I love doing it. <laughs> like I've beat the system there. Sometimes I'll order on the app for that reason. Because you oh, don't have to do the order. Lizard. Oh, that's like before thing, I'm it? going. It, makes, I'm it going, makes you faster. Yeah, you literally just go, I've got an app order, and they go, right, off you go. Oh. You don't have to do your order. So here's my thing with the uh. drive through. Here's my thing with the drive through. If it's busy and you, you can tell, because the, the one in Chester, say you get to the first one uh, just after the person in the other one has got there, you know they're ordering first and, and they know you've ordered second. So they go forward and then you go forward, but you can't go very far because it's busy. It's that next cunt who comes into their lane, who does a quick order, the who goes right behind them. Yeah. And then he's like, nah, nah, I'm here, mate. You're like, no, this works like, what did we talk like about with Pete Furman? It's zip. a zip. Yeah. I hate oh, yeah, the cunts yeah. who are like, nah. <laughs> you, in my head, I'm like, I will fucking damage both our cars. Yeah. <laughs> I am going to drive. This is my God-given right. I ordered second, you ordered third. Fuck off if you think you're jumping that. But if you get away with it, you've smashed it. I hate them. <laughs> I hate them as well, but if you I get to them. do it, you're like, ha ha. <laughs> this is why I'm glad I, I drive a car. that I've paid it off. It isn't worth loads anyway. I will, I'll fucking scuff it up and be like, it's your fault. And also in that thing, like if the police came and they were like, well, what happened here? We'd, all, we'd have to pay for each other's damage. <laughs> And I'll fucking pay mine. Yeah. You cunt. <laughs> I ate it. I ate it, but it's I funny to do it. I love this. I didn't realize it was like Carl, Battle I Royale swear to God, I, I honestly think if you tried it with me and it was blatant with your car and my car, I'll back off. I think you'd have to back <laughs> off. Your car is worth six times what mine's worth. What have you got? What car are you driving? Uh, RS Q3. Nice. What have you got? A 2010 Q7 that has seen better days. Yeah, I wouldn't go anywhere near that. that it'll go straight through the shops. It's a job yeah. all, mate. He would beat me and I would... If, if someone looks at my car, I want to cry, never mind if they touch it. <laughs> <laughs> I had a brilliant thing the other day. I went through the McDonald's drive through for breakfast and they chucked in, I had four hash browns. Oh, 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 hash oh browns hang on. Oh, so, for free? Yeah. What time, ordered, what time was it? Because this would have been... If it's very close to the sort of end of breakfast... No. I've had this before. Ooh. It's literally getting to the point where they're like, we've Life flipped hack. up. We've, they've flipped over to French fries. Right, if right, they've right. got excess hash browns, they're like, in they go. No, no this was like, this was like eight o'clock. Eight o'clock in the morning. Can I have a life hack and a what big happened? I missed that. What was that? <laughs> I said life hack and I went life back. 
<laughs> He's unstoppable. Have you seen the app? It's relentless. There's an app now where um, restaurants that are closing, you can you do it in supermarkets as well. Yeah. You pay maybe a fiver and you get like 40 yeah, kids worth of food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've seen that. Oh, so you can yeah. you can feel really hungry all day, but at 10 p.m. <laughs> you eat like a king. Well, you do it with groceries as well in like Tesco, if it's like been off fruit or whatever. Yeah. Why don't it's, they just give it to homeless shelters? Because if them homeless people then get sick, they're liable. Is that what it is? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. This is on the homeless community. Stop <laughs> suing people. <laughs> <laughs> just take your day old they state are very and enjoy. That'd be a good film, like, like Karen Brockovich, but an homeless, homeless man takes Tesco down. <laughs> He's got one shoe on. Because he got the shits <laughs> off a of baguette. Yeah. <laughs> Was it just a baguette off bread? I want some bread. He has a nice shove of toffee flimsy up his arse. Uh, right, let's uh, <clears throat> let's do some pet peeves because we like going skewing negative. We yeah. did simple pleasures for a while, but it was just all too positive. So we're doing some pet peeves. We haven't got a jingle for it. Jamie, you've showed some real skill before. Just add libber jingle, pet peeves, little annoyances. Go for it. Oh, that's good. Right on me wick this week, pet peeves. <laughs> <laughs> I can't decide I think if that's I hate my ringtone. It. Oh, no, love that'd it. Be great. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> um, Josh Shaw. Uh, Josh Shaw. Are you sure about that? Shez. <laughs> Josh Shaw. When people stop in the middle of the shop door <laughs> to chat, when people block a door entrance to a shop because they're having a convo. I don't, I think that's minor because you say, oh, excuse me, you can just get in. Yeah, if you say no, then, then yeah, yeah. no. Normally shop doors are quite wide as well, yeah. unless it's like a, a convenience Oh, Josh shop. says uh, in thin door shops. Your local oh, right. oh, office. office. It's bad, Laura, Laura's really not good with that, like spatial awareness in that. Like if we're somewhere busy and she's like, oh, Jack needs something. She just sort of stops dead in the middle of the pavement or whatever to go, I'm attending to my really, bugger. Really bad quality. And I just want, I just want to move. I'm like, let's have a little thorough oh, affair. Oh, when people leave a shop or get off a train and then they stop dead. Oh, and oh. Then they, oh. And they, that they're doing worse. their bag. The and train they just, one. Yeah. Yeah, train one's bad. Be ready to go. Yeah. Go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or they'll just, or they fuck about looking for their ticket at the gate. Yeah, no fucking Yeah, move. or they get their, another one when you're rushing and you need to get a ticket. This is before the apps and things like that. And a family in front would be letting the kid press the button for the tickets. What ticket are we getting now, Jemima? Mm -hmm. Like, get that fucking thing out of the way. She can buy I've pensioners in post offices. Yeah. Which? Pensioners in post offices. Oh. The they just want to talk about the price of stamps. Mate. But they've gone there for the day out, haven't they? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the only though. human they've spoken to in a month. Yeah. Unnecessary panicking, though. Do you know what I mean? People panic unnecessarily in airports. Do you know what I mean? Like, oh, fuck your passport and that, and oh, and and they're just, oh, just calm down. You'll get on the plane. Just shut up. Just go. Where do we go now? Everyone's just so flustered. By the time they finish the airport, they need a fucking holiday. Hey, <laughs> hey, <laughs> so chuffed with you. I lost faith in the passport. I saw the moment. I was, I felt the wheels coming off the plane. <laughs> I go to, uh, I go to Tesco at certain times when it's quiet. And it's uh, it's when they've just refreshed the fruit and veg, but it's when all the old people are there, and it used to piss me off like the the old people in front chatting, but I'm like, it's just probably the only chat he's had all day, isn't it? So yeah. You kind of just yeah. wait, just like he's like, oh, you're all right, Sonny, we had a good day. So it's like the cashier, I'm like, just let them fucking go with it because yeah. they, they've got no other things to yeah, enjoy. Yeah, I feel for them when they're queuing for they're queuing for Marks and Spencers to open. Yeah, yeah, they just want to do something, yeah, don't they? Like, yeah. Let them have it. Oh, it is annoying if you're oh. in a rush, though, isn't it? Yeah, but like. <laughs> <laughs> I, if it ever the co-op at ours, there's very regularly just chat. one person on the tail and it's, you're like, yeah, I'm on. It's the, the panicking, like, oh, I've got this and I've got that. It just it reminds me of that. Have yeah. you ever missed a flight? I'd be like, you've definitely, oh, in fact, I've been there when you've missed a flight. I, uh, you have. I miss bear transports, lad. <laughs> <laughs> it's the people that stand up when it goes, right, we're boarding for planes. What, and, and stand everyone, in the queue? And everyone stands in the queue, like, you've got your seat. What are yeah. you doing? We've discussed that though. I'm still think overhead locker yeah. is the is, oh, is the that reason. What it is? I think they're they're like uh, they don't want to be stuck in the I hole. Yeah, but I don't know. Like, oh yeah, you're so cool. You sat down while people are queuing up. Soz fucking Danny Zuko. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was going somewhere else. Oh uh, mate, I can't help being cool, man. <laughs> it just is. Uh, Callum Gordon says, "Pet peeve: the banging sound when you have your car window open and you go way too fast." Oh, sorry, you're going too fast. I sort of know what he means. Oh, yeah. oh you got to open another window. Well, it's, yeah. I think sometimes if you've got the back windows open, 
there's a weird sort of like bo, 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 I love it yeah. and you see you feel like you're in like a jet wow. yeah it's not annoying Callum Gordon does not like that's it that's actually a simple pleasure I feel like cool <laughs> yeah you feel like you're in a film <laughs> yeah I feel like you sat down at an airport and people are queuing <laughs> cool so simple cool. pleasure sitting down <laughs> we have actually had that uh, Joe S says pet peeve when you leave a tissue in your pocket when you wash your kecks oh that happens yeah, to my yeah, yeah. oh cough. every time <laughs> um, Carly says when you're putting your shop in on the conveyor and a dickhead behind you starts putting their stuff on before you have finished when does that happen yeah are Carly people, are people assuming the divider I'll put the divider there so don't worry do you know what yeah, I mean? Of course. Oh, I don't well, you're, the you're, yeah, goes yeah. Down. oh, hang yeah. on. But you, where does the, the divider can't go down before you've put all your exactly. stuff on? Exactly. So what are they doing? Yeah, yeah. I think that's what Carly's saying. They it was their stuff on. Does someone do that. People Rats. have done, people have done that. Yeah. They're the same dickheads at queue for their <laughs> their plane seat. <laughs> <laughs> See what I'll do is I'll wait and do the silver bit at the end of the thing. I'll start loading that up instead. <laughs> Creating a barricade. Yeah. 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 Uh, Harry, did you say there was some... Uh, we're going to Harry now, who is uh, fast becoming our content producer. Did you say you've got an idea for, for Jamie? So people have been asking for Adam to bring back Adam's adverts yeah. from a while ago when he was would basically pitch advert ideas. And so we you were, give him the product and he'd go with the advert? Yes, yeah. and we were walking back from lunch and Jamie said that he used to come up with adverts for mints that didn't exist. <laughs> Can Not you explain it? Not just mints. Mints with a T. Okay. I, I used to send advert ideas. So I sent yeah. to Innocence Movies um, and I sent them songs and stuff. So I went, we made this smoothie. <laughs> <laughs> we made this smoothie with fresh fruit. We made this smoothie. That's brilliant. The mango plays the banjo. Because it was a fruit rock band called Banana Drama. <laughs> it had John Lennon. <laughs> No, John Lemon, surely. John Lemon, yeah. Lennon. I thought was, yeah. Dave Plums on drums. It had Dave Plums and John Lennon. <laughs> <laughs> we no. didn't change the name of that. It's too good yeah. for word. Dave, Dave Plums on drums, Morris the Mango on banjo, and then the real Martin Kemp. <laughs> so the on, who's Dave Drums? Who are we missing there? Dave Plums. Who's that? Oh, it rhymes with drums. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> and it's just the real Martin Kemp. And Martin Kemp wants to take it seriously, do you know what I mean? He's out of Spandu Ballet, <laughs> he's out of EastEnders, he wants to carve a new, a new career with banana drama, yeah. And he's just surrounded by these fruit who are always getting on it and that. Because innocent, what makes fruit cool, do you know what I mean? So the, this lemon's getting on it and all that, getting on the lime and that. I know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> do you remember um, VH1 behind the music? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. The, it's like like interviews with the band heads. That's what the advert idea was. The lemon's like, yeah, just couldn't get on with the plum, man. Do you know what I mean? Okay, Stuff like yeah. that. How long are these adverts? <laughs> no, it, it's, it's- So hang on, do you do the it's full campaign? You it's do the story. full campaign, and then it's after different. that, the second campaign is the- essentially episodes, yeah. Yeah, you break it up. Episodes. Back on it used to be good, there'd be episodes. Yeah, yeah. essentially oh, yeah, episodes. And get on this, right? Mully yogurt, yeah. <laughs> so I sent, I had an email conversation with Innocent. It's a hand as well. I, I, sent, <laughs> I had an email conversation with Innocent, Anna from Innocent's Movies. Um, she paid it to the office and all that. Um, I sent one to Mully Yogurts. Get on this, this is sick, right? Yogurts for kids. Yeah. Exists. <laughs> <laughs> Called Yog Yogs with a Z. Yeah. yeah. Like, a, like a frube. Yeah, but pot wise, uh, and it's um, uh, remember the jingle now. Uh, yog yogs. <laughs> it's it's like yog yogs. Slur, it, it does yeah. sound like a slur. You mean <laughs> yog yog? <laughs> Back to where you came it's from. It's one of those dirty uh, yog yogs. <laughs> try and remember. So I sent this on audio to Muller. Yog yogs, yog yogs. Give your tummy and bones a extra smile. Yog yogs, yog yogs. Make your teeth as strong as a crocodile. Snap, snap. Yog yogs, yog yogs. A tasty treat for kids and even grown-ups too. Yog yogs, yog yogs. Pick your favourite colour, red, yellow or blue. Have I been spiked? <laughs> this is... This is can, I, can I just say, tummy and bones in the same... That did, didn't feel right. Calcium. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you, have, you haven't shown <laughs> for your tummy and bones? <laughs> no, the calcium, bro. Kids are always like, I'm worried about my bones, man. Um, you haven't told us the, the pièce de résistance. Right. <laughs> we all like fresh breath. 
We do. Sure. We are, yeah. We're not doing these. These are well better. Uh, we've got some suggestions. These are the better ones. Yeah. Yeah. Jamie just doing his own. We all like fresh breath. We all like pussy. Let, <laughs> so, I mean, can't argue with it. So, so let me introduce you to compliments. Mate. So the guy's walking down, right? He's in Aldi or a supermarket. He's walking down, he's got his little compliments, and the woman goes, Hey, I love compliments. And the guy goes, Huh, you have pretty eyes. And she goes, No, compliments. She goes, Ah, compliments. And then it, then it blacks out and it cuts them in my bed. And instead of having a sing after sex, I have a compliment. <laughs> Do you think advertising standards would get involved there? Basically, the advert is, if you take these mints, women to will Aldi. fuck you. You fuck all the women, Aldi. Yeah. That's what the mission statement is, fresh breath and pussy. Compliments. <laughs> do, 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 do. That's going to be in my head now, all the way home. All the way on the train. I was saying it later, my wife will go, what are you singing? <laughs> compliments. You love them, you're a woman. Yeah. Yeah. Compliments. Yeah. Compliments. Please. Compliments. No, compliment. It's not going to be bad. <laughs> Should we call that a pod, boys? Yes. Bang in. Jamie, thanks so much for standing in. Thanks for having me. Really appreciate it. Good luck on the old tawsies. Rich, it. love you. Love you too. Thanks for having been me. Been an I'm absolute really, pleasure to see to the see superstars, you. man. Um, it's been good. I've enjoyed it. Next time, although that jumper's lovely, don't wear yeah, it for the couch. Yeah, didn't, didn't think that through, mate. Although, like, it's a stunner. But you've, been, I think, the second sort of camouflage guest. Yeah. Uh, good Thank luck you. with everything and uh, we'll all go watch your special on ITVX Zip. sounds yeah. like the sexy and ITV Insane in the Membrane podcast yeah. where you can get your audio files from we've also got another one called But Please Don't Panic which is about talking about films like Sharknado it's all about B-movies Sharknado and Sharktopus and all that <laughs> it's nonsense <laughs> and we haven't got that. a producer so it's chaos <laughs> <laughs> oh, well we've got a producer and it's still chaos love it <laughs> um, Carl love Hello. you Thank what you. a lovely time it was, you know, at my house with you looking at my child's dick. Finn. I was doing more than that. <laughs> <laughs> what a finish. Oh, Lord. What, what, what a finish, man. What a man was. No, no, no. no. Just do it now. Oh, I'm looking no. forward to the afterwards, the notes, and they lived happily ever after. <laughs> Carl spent 15 years in prison. <laughs> Compliment in bed with Jack. I'm not even editing this either because I'm going to Italy tomorrow. You were, that would be illegal to edit that out. Um, Finn, we've got a tune, <laughs> and I hear these guys are fucking great. Yeah, before, before we go to Jamie. I just want to put a little PSA out there. I, I'm looking for a keyboard player for my band. So if you're a keyboard player in the Northwest, give me a DM. Uh, get in touch. Jamie, what's the tune? Yes, it's a band I'm very much affiliated with because I've been in a lot of their music videos. This week's tune is Vulture Authority, Last Orders. Check them out on YouTube, Spotify, etc. Nice. Love you all. Ta-da.